<laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome. It's the 30th of March 2024. You know how we do tonight on a Saturday night with your host Andy here on the Anthology Channel for Changing Times, the new world times of changing order. <laughs> That's where we're at. This is what we're doing and this is where we are. So thank you everyone for being with us tonight. There's such a great bunch already live in the chat. Talking of great bunches, I have to give super, super big shout out to my absolute darling, Della Sandor, who has been littering in a nice way, littering the super chat, <laughs> the chat with super chats. Thank you so very much, my darling Della. There was a pink one earlier, but it seems to have dropped off the board, which uh, I spotted just before I was about to jump in the shower. So I wouldn't, it doesn't seem to want to let me scroll all the way up, my darling Della, but thank you so very much. Tonight's show so far is sponsored entirely by Della <laughs> and the patrons, don't forget. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us tonight. <clears throat> what a week it has been. What a load of shenanigans we've had going on, eh? Let's get the night started out with some uh, likey likey action and look at perps whoosh. currently also tonight's show is sponsored courtesy of my darling perpy poos who apparently birthday cake all round whose birthday is it don't tell me i'm forgetting someone's birthday this is going to be horrific if that is the case but i did see something earlier on perps about something about a foot that's hurting so let's uh, send some healing vibes out to our wonderful perpy poos and hope that her foot starts to feel a little bit better. Is that my darling Marjorie, the house it is? Don't forget, get yourself in the live chat. That's where it's all at. <clears throat> and that's where everyone's getting on. And having a good old... Uh, that's it. There's the, there's the comments on the, uh, on the foot. So, still in pain with my foot. Oh, my darling. So, non-pain vibes going out to you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being with us. Got some great names in the house tonight. Steve Shepard. I was talking about Steve. We were talking about Steve Shepard the other day, weren't we, Sandy? Hmm? We were talking about our our metal detectorist Steve, was it? I'm pretty sure. So yeah. You still look dirty after getting out of the shower. Really? Do I look dirty? Let's I should have made the poll, the live poll tonight. Does Andy look dirty tonight? <laughs> or not? <clears throat> talking of live polls, I hope you voted already. We've had 23 people that have. Thanks to you. So the like the live poll we've got rocking tonight refer you to the Andology Discord community server, which you are more than welcome and strongly encouraged to join. It's where it's all happening. So this is a live poll for tonight. If you're watching this afterwards, what, what do you make of the boat versus bridge collapse? What do you make versus the boat? This is Baltimore we're talking about versus the bridge collapse. Do we think it's an accident or do we not think it's an accident? Just interested to get your feedback on that. You know how we like to put things out there and just put the feelers out and see what people are feeling. <laughs> so please do vote live in the chat. Uh, that's rocking right now. I've already voted on my uh, tablet next to me. <laughs> so I'm all right. I'm safe. So yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's contributing over on the Discord server. Um, have some great memes in. We'll be showing them a bit later on. Uh, as well, a quote from our darling Debbie. Thank you, my darling. It's the only one that came in, so it's the only one we got tonight. We only have one anyway. <clears throat> and don't forget, we've got SHGF news uh, segments in there, preparedness, pet lovers. Looks like we've got a new one in pet lovers. Who we got? Debbie. There was Hugo Bear last week in the after party live show, I think that was. Um, and yes, we have our goddess Athena, Patsy, um, from Debbie. And talking of Debbie... That is a beautiful looking cat. Talking to Debbie, we do have to say though a big thank you because she supplied the quote tonight. And it's coming in from Walter Elliot, who's a Scottish poet, it, it would turn out. Which makes sense because our darling Debbie is also a Scottish person. Perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after another. Mm -hmm. Perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after another. Walter Elliot, thank you so very much. This is the guy here we need to be spanking. His wonderful poetry and quotes. So thank you very much to our darling Debbie, who very simply didn't take five seconds, did it, Debbie, right? Come on, tell him. Tell him how long it took you, Debbie, to lich, right-click, copy, come in here, right-click, paste, right? Lich. So no excuses. Thank you, my darling. Let's give that a quick thumbs up or high five or prayer hands, depending on what what whether you're gen x gen z or <laughs> something else as to whether you do you think it's uh, a high vibe or praying hands <clears throat> i'll let you decide subject to your i was gonna keep wanting to say gender subject to your generation that's the word i'm looking for cheers everybody don't forget we'll be having a formal 
a formal cheers and toast after part one. Mm-mm. When we come back for part two. But in the meantime, cheers to you, my absolute darling Della. Missed you big time. And uh, not haven't necessarily missed your... I have missed your Super Chats big time. But I mean, I haven't missed you because I have missed your Super Chats. I've missed you because of you, just to make that clear. <clears throat> everyone loves everyone here. Mm. And that's why it's the place to come on a Saturday night. At least you feel like you're part of something, right? Because everything else in the world is trying to make us feel like we're part of nothing. So we're going to have a little float through <clears throat> some bits and pieces tonight. Um, I would say it's going to be a slightly different show, but it's not. <laughs> it's going to be... Um, oh, it's going to be wonderful. It's always wonderful. What are you talking about? Um, but we're going to shake it up a little bit. Uh, we'll have a bit of the usual and a bit of not usual and a bit of other usual and a bit of not usual. So we're going to shake it up. I'm just getting a couple of tabs open. Um, <clears throat> looks like we're in, the, we're in the middle of an M-Class solar flare at the moment as well. So we're going to get into that with the SHGF news coming up. We've done the quote. We said hello to a few people. There's my darling Connie as well. See, Connie's in tonight. Lovely to see you. Carolyn Rose from Australia, mate. Don't forget, in terms of the UK-British time, um, has been playing around with the American clocks because your clocks went uh, back, forward, <laughs> forward uh, uh, several weeks ago. Whereas here in the UK, our clocks don't change until tonight. So don't forget everybody in the UK, right? Set your alarm, set your clocks and your watches and your alarm clocks for you don't want to be turning up an hour late on Monday. Would it be an hour late or would you be a, an hour early? Don't know. But about two o'clock in the morning, right now it's 20 past 11. So at two o'clock in the morning, the clocks, uh, clocks in the UK are going to go forward an hour, I believe. So we're going to get more sun, which is nice. Notice I've been in the sun today, writing some notes for tonight's show and some other bits and pieces I've been working on in the background. Top secret stuff. Right, so I've been able to sit in the garden today, and Lich, look, I've got like semi sunburn. What do you think? Am I looking semi sunburn? <laughs> Am I fitting in with the background? Because we are properly into spring now, and you know this is the time of year of creativity. It's the time of year to make stuff and renew stuff. This is the new year. April the first coming up. Don't forget is traditionally New Year's Day, right? Until they changed it to January, just to stop people being. Um, efficient in their plans in the beginning of the year. Instead, they start the year at the worst possible time where everyone's suffering from sad syndrome and everything's hibernating and hiding and <clears throat> tucked away indoors. It's the worst time to have a new year. That's why nobody's New Year's resolutions actually pan out. I don't know if you realise that, but yeah, there's certain times of the year where people are more productive than others. I'm not quite sure how that affects people in the Southern Hemisphere because, of course, our friends in Australia and New Zealand and other southern equatorial regions, of course, they are in winter. Well, are they? Just coming into winter, I suppose, are you? I would suppose. Into autumn, maybe? Um, will you be seeing the eclipse, says Cynthia? Cornota. Lovely to see you, my darling. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I know it's going straight over you, um, so you should have a good glimpse of it. Um, but we'll maybe have a look at that. In um, Will the eclipse be visible... I think that's a no, because it's not even guessing anything in this search. UK will see a partial eclipse, meaning the sun won't be completely blocked out. Total solar eclipse are rare events. And I think the next one's in 2084 or something like that. So it's a while. Oh, that could be a lie, actually. What am I talking about? Um, that's something completely different. That's the next time Easter Sunday will be on the 30th of March, I think it is. <laughs> it's 2084. Don't even ask where that's gone from, right? But yeah, every 400 years, total solar eclipses are rare events and each place on Earth can only expect to see one once every 400 years. So it's even more rare to see a, a full eclipse. So it is a reasonable event and of course for America. And we'll be looking into some bits and pieces a little bit later on the show because it's going wild for the eclipse, right? There's some weird stuff going on. Let me know in the chat live, right about no, or in the comments below if you're watching this after. If um, you've got any thoughts on the eclipse and the things that it's bringing and all these weird things that are happening in, not in necessarily in the news, but there's like these reports coming out of, um, and there's um, notices coming out for various emergency services saying things are going to be different on this particular day and this, that and the other. I mean, I don't know if it's just a genuine worry or concern for the traffic and things like in, in, in holiday seasons and stuff where you've got a lot of people traveling. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Um, and there's a few other things I want to bring up with you as well a bit later. As we, let me just make a note of something quickly. Because uh, I just remembered something else, right, uh, that I want to talk about. There's so many things going on. This is a problem. It makes it impossible to get through anything. 
last week, I, after the show, I was reflecting back on the show in the after party with the VIPs. In fact, we put it out to everyone last week. Um, we had a really good chat, actually. I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking about doing something similar tonight. Um, but what we'll do, just to switch up a bit, is off, after the show tonight for our after party, for those that don't know, um, we have an after party for the Patreon VIP members um, who are supporting the show and helping me to keep going back on a Saturday at the bare minimum. So thank you to all of those. And I thoroughly enjoy having our after parties on a Saturday uh, where we get to talk frankly with each other and uh, I get to hear your voice and at the same time, which is always nice as well. And you can tell me what you think of me to my to my ear, <laughs> not to my face, but to my ear. Um, and so it's lovely chats we have. Now, last week, what we did is I did the live after party on the general chat with the all inclusive rainbow icon. Um, now, you won't see if you're not a VIP member, you won't see these crowned VIP rooms. But this is where us and the, um, the VIP Patreon supporters go for our after party, right? So what I'm thinking of doing, because it's really nice to be able to give other people the opportunity to come and have a chat, right? So what we'll do is, after tonight's show, for about the first half an hour, 45 minutes or something, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to jump into the general tracks of any general population people who aren't su supporters of any kind. Not a problem. You can come and uh, chat to me in the general chat. We'll be in there for about half hour after the show, and then we'll move into the VIP members so we can have our private discussions. And, of course, if you want to join us in the VIP area, that's a really, really easy fix. Guess how you do that? That's right. Get yourself get yourself supporting me on VIP as a VIP on Patreon. And it's as easy as that. Starting from as little as like six bucks a month or something ludicrous. What's that? 17 cents a day. The question is, can you afford not to support me? <laughs> right, let's do it. Should we get into it? Because we've got so much to get through. Uh, <clears throat> and we don't really... Um... Thank you, Christina, my darling moderator of all moderators in the house. Uh, great to catch up with you earlier in the week. Um, let's have a look. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anyone. Uh, love out to laughs me as well by the way uh, i just wanted to mention um, my dying laughs me because you know oh i see robert's there as well oh is it perps's birthday is it is it your birthday today perps why do you people keep these things so secret because hmm? what we'll do is we'll give a proper happy birthday after we've done the shgf news i think so let's get that out of the way and then we can get on with our celebration Indeed. And now the news. Although it's not really the news, is it? So it looks like the vote's going nicely. Don't forget, we've got a live poll rocking. There's more people watching right now than people who have live voted in the poll. Don't forget tonight's poll is, what do you make of the boat versus bridge collapse? Either A, accident, or B, not accident. Let us know what your thoughts are. Live in the chat tonight, it's rocking for you right now, and we'll call a vote on that later on. Let us know how we've all got on. Um... Got 69 tube this in the house. Great to see you. It's starting to look like a pole shift is coming. Uh, starting to look like a pole shift is coming. Let's get to this one, shall we? Um, <clears throat> and three days of darkness, most likely brought on by Planet X. Wormwood. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe. Great to hear from you from Australia. Your friend Carolyn Rose from Australia there as well. Um, so lovely to see you. Please hit the like button. Nicely said. Nicely said. And make sure you voted 69 Tube this, yeah? Get your vote in there, dude. What do you make of the bridge collapse? I know it's not in Australia, it's in America. Sorry, America, right? But vote nonetheless. So, Perps, Debbie Sermon 2 celebrating the Aries Gully. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we trying to suggest that there's two of my favouritest ladies in the house that are having their birthdays? Hmm? On the same day? Surely not. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little float through. I've got a whole stack of... Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, was it? Because last week we did the um, Red Pill Trivia Quiz, right? The uh, Truth of Trivia Quiz we did last week. Uh, but the week before, I had a whole load of uh, Twitters and tweets and Xs that we went through that just happened to be... that just happened to sort of organically come up on my feed. I know... I follow, I'm not even sure how many people I follow on Twitter, but I haven't touched it for years, right? <clears throat> so whoever I'm following, I was following years ago. Right? I don't think I've followed anyone new. Um, so it's quite interesting to see the random trending feed that I get on Twitter. So we're going to go through that together later on, and we're going to see what we make of some of the stuff that's out there and get your feedback on it. 
So we're going to have a quick look at the top stories and we're going to see what's going on just briefly because, you know, we don't like to waste too much time reading the mainstream because it's all nonsense. So <clears throat> Peru res president's home raided in Rolex probe. Oh, moto, moto, interesante. Gazans watch the skies to spot planes dropping. I'm going to do air quotes. Aid. UN observers wounded by shelling in southern Lebanon. So, yeah, it's all basically, you know, not great. Lizzo says she quits after lies against her. What are the lies? Do we know the lies? And are they really lies? Or are they pretend lies? Who knows? So, uh, let's just see if there's anything safe. Because don't forget, when we come out of the SHGF news, we're gonna, I've got, we're going to go through the tweets that I've got tabbed out there's probably 30 of them right so we're gonna to need to get into that so we don't want to mess around too much in here um what else we got nothing else really <laughs> literally it's just like yeah i don't even want to get into any of that it's just annoying so 44 earthquakes on the map which looking slightly elevated usually we'd be seeing about 30 um looks like we've got a big old cluster down here look um if i can find my mouse Let's try that again. Got a big old cluster down here, look. Well, it's not a massive cluster, really, is it? How many have we got there? About six. Six. So, yeah, all around Indonesia and the Philippines. And um, we've got this one here. It's quite new. Is that Tonga? Uh, Tonga. Don't forget, this is Papua New Guinea, but you know Tonga's over here. Don't forget Tonga's where we had that mass massive volcano last year. Don't be giving me hiccups again. The Honga Tonga Tarpe, what is it? volcano from last year was it or the year before let us know in the live chat if i don't know what i'm talking about uh but it looks like that's bubbling and is it any wonder when we've got this kind of bidnik going on with the sun now you'll be first thing you can see from solar ham here is that day does like to come in and save the day between you and Della and and uh, our darling perps and that as well. So thank you so much, Danger World. Check it out. We're going to have to see this is going to be proper red business. It is red business. <laughs> we got, we've had a pink and a red. This is amazing. Happy Easter. Thank you so very much, Danger Bob. Such a main man. Um, I wasn't, but I probably will be now. Thank you so very much, Danger Bob. This is the most horrific month I've had since I was 17 years old, I was saying to Sandy. This is the brokest I've been since I was about 17 years old. And bear in mind, I was living on my own at the age of 15, completely on my own, no support from family or anything. So imagine how, how broke I was, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing um, how it's become this bad, really, progressively, right? I know a lot of people in the same situation, but... Yeah, it's been horrific. So thank you so very much, Danger Bob. I really appreciate that. And Della as well. And uh, Perps, um, every little helps. And things like this really guarantee that uh, I'll get a payout next month. Um, so thank you so much. You're really, really touched. Such a wonderful bunch. Um, isn't it? Isn't it just? So mine, Friday the 29th, Aries could only handle one strong girly at a time. So Purple Flurple's birthday was on the 29th so we'll be doing a happy birthday for you and for debbie i'm surprised debbie didn't tell me thursday 28th she's such a sneaky one okay we'll get that sorted straight after the shgf news so thank you everyone really appreciate you um 100 is what you need per month to get anything yeah it was it, last last month it was um 91 pounds so it's gone to zero again now <clears throat> but now it won't be zero thanks to you wonderful people thank you very much because, you know, I put an awful lot of number of hours into this show and sacrifice an awful lot on every single weekend for about the last four years and, you know, just have suppression after suppression from YouTube. You know how it is. And uh, so every little bit is really, really helpful. So thank you so very much because, you know, YouTube won't let me earn any money any other way from ad revenue because um, of the numbers. So thank you so very much. So disaster maps, let's have a look at the sun quickly and just make sure we ain't got anything epic coming up. And you'll see the sunspots are all on the... the uh, eastern limb on the way out, right? The sun's rotating. Um, if you were to look down on it, it's rotating anti-clockwise. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but you can see here from the flare map, uh, flare graph, look, boosh. Look at that. That is so very nearly an X class, isn't it? It's not registering as an RC. It's a 9.3, an M9.3 is made out of that. It looks like it's on the way back down again, but that is a reasonable sized solar flare um 
And I'll tell you what would what I like to do as well is well I just want to check in on another little secret. It's not a secret, but a little another little page. Look at Robert McNamara through Super Chat. Whoosh! Thank you so very much, Robert. What a top, top guy. Happy Easter to everybody. Although it is it, you know, a happy greeting day. Did you hear the thing about Cadbury's cream eggs? You're not allowed to call them Easter eggs. They have to be greeting eggs now. We'll get into that after the thing, but thank you so very much. <clears throat> really appreciate it, Robert. And uh, yeah, such a great friend of the show. Um, do you know what? Anyone who's live right now is a friend of the show, to be honest. Let's face it, right? So check it out. This is the um, this is the the Space Weather Enthusiast dashboard, which I like to use, right? Um, <clears throat> doesn't look like they've got anything incoming. This will tell you any flares that have come off the sun, which is the bit in the middle, and we are the green planet. You can see if we scoot along the timeline. Here is the closest we get. So it's not registering any of the things we've got coming off the sun now. Neither really will it because it's coming off the limb of the sun. It's not being Earth-facing. Um, I was interested to see the uh, absorption prediction. Now, the absorption, for those that don't know, is the the energetic uh, proton flux and stuff like that, which hits the Earth's atmosphere. And it makes perturbation, it perturbs our magnetosphere, <clears throat> which actually greatly affects our attenuation from transmission. So this is why the website's called SolarHam that I use is because it's for ham radio users because it's important for them to know what the atmosphere is doing, um, particularly at the, not the troposphere, what's it called? Um, but it gets affected big time. Look at that. Bosh. So basically what we're saying here is that where you've got these red bars above me, right, those frequencies, if you want to try and transmit something on those frequencies, absolutely forget about it. It's not going to happen, right? Because you get a lot of interference. So this is why they show it on solar ham, right? <clears throat> and this is the uh, solar flare count per month, which you can see has been riding above the average uh, for quite some time. Um, so we'll be interested to see what's going to be uh, logged in for March this month. Uh, in a couple of days, it will put it on here and see if we've been well over or well under. Hard to say. I'd say it's probably going to be similar to last month. Um since we've only got three sunspots on the sun, on the sun now, which is about there or thereabouts, um, but we have had quite a few big um, solar flares over the last several weeks. Now, so that's about. I mean, we'll we'll get into the we'll get into the solar eclipse and stuff after the SHGF news. We'll we'll just do our usual thing here first, and then we'll we'll get into more more stuff. Like I say, I've got like thirty tabs open of just random on my feed trending Twitter stories that we'll, we'll, we'll discuss together um, after the, the SHGF news and we'll see what people think of it. Um, Amen, Della, absolutely. Um, do you know what? I, I really suffer from that sad syndrome thing, you know, when you don't get any sunlight in the wintertime. And it really does do me in big time. But Magic Hand got me one of those, um, those lights, yeah, which I did use for about a week or two. Got on with it all right, actually. But being able to get proper sun, literally, just more energy, you know. It's like your immune system and everything like that. Milkfish in the house. Great to see you. Great to see you. And I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone because the, um, the chat's going pretty quick. Uh, but do make sure you voted in the live poll. Don't forget we've got running right now live. Um, what do you make of the boat hitting the bridge scenario? Do you think that's an accident or not an accident? Please do vote live in the chat now. Um, <clears throat> and let me know in the comments what you think of it if you're watching this afterwards. So I think what we're going to have a quick look at then is we'll check out the cryptos and see what that's doing, uh, and we'll see what gold's up to and things as well, because there's been a bit of movement in there. Um, in fact, let's do cryptos first. So you can see here, Bitcoin's hovering around at 70 bags of sand mark. Um, it's not really gone up or down, and the market cap's still sitting about 2.6 trillion. So, you know, it seems to be holding its position um, there is the halving coming up. There are reasons for it to, to, there are reasons why it should be going higher, um, with the turmoil in the global economy at the moment. Um, even though you're not supposed to know there's any turmoil in the global economy, it's all good in the hood and everything's great. Everything is awesome. So <clears throat> in terms of gold though, the last week we've seen an increase of 3%, which is not bad for a week. Uh, over the year now, we're looking at, it's got to be over, yeah, 12%, nearly eight, nearly 13% look over the year um, for gold. 
so yeah, on the week we're up to 2,233. So we'll have a quick look at silver and see if that's tracking similarly, which it kind of is. Look at that massive spike before they smashed it down, smashed it back down before the end of trading on a Friday. Quick, knock it down. You can't let Friday end with silver being any higher than $24. $25. So yeah, they managed to smack it back down. That went up to about $25.30 or something <clears throat> before they smacked it back down. But yeah, so 25 buckaroonies. So it's all a bit slow, really, compared to what's going on in the world and the reasons why people should be stockpiling gold. <clears throat> on the gold front, though, it's quite interesting. I learned something new this week, um, which, is, which is an extension of something that I learned several years ago about the way, um, sort of like the geniusness of the way China runs its economy um, to be able to duck and dive um, the nonsense that the US throws at them with all the policies and things the US comes out with to try and do everything they can and Britain as well to do everything they can to hold China back right and uh, you know I get it they can't compete fairly so they have to compete unfairly right that's that's usual oh look at Della my darling Whoosh, go danger Bob such a babe thank you so much Della I have missed you greatly and uh, I'm sure everybody else has as well I mean it's a great community of people here and we're all it's like we all meet up down a pub every week, you know what I mean? And it's like everyone loves everyone. Everyone understands everyone, you know what I mean? It's, it's a great place to be, and I really appreciate each and every one of you for making it what it is. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's kind of... Um, what I've... I say it's an extension of something I learned a long time ago. Basically what China does, and what they're doing now, is they're stockpiling gold because I think that they're going to want to try and back their yuan currency with gold at some point. It's nothing to do with BRICS or One World currency. They're not interested in any of that. That's the whole reason why all the countries are de-dollarizing is because they don't want to be forced to use a single dollar, a single currency. They want to use their own currencies to trade amongst each other freely. Why wouldn't you, right? So China doesn't have any intention of trying to become the new global currency, reserve currency, right? But what they do want is independence from the US dollar, just like all the other 191 countries also want independence from the dollar. Really bad for America, but really good for everybody else is the problem. Now, what China's doing <clears throat> is they've got lots and lots of gold. China's bought more gold than basically most other countries combined, including all the West. If you were to combine all the Western countries in the last 10 years, China's bought more gold and it has, shall I say, bought has accumulated more gold than all of the Western countries combined in a 10-year period, right? That's the first fact to know. Now, that obviously pushes the prices of gold up, as we've just seen, right? Gold started to climb quite nicely recently. Now, this is quite interesting because China has a lot of gold. So it's in China's best interest for the price, price of gold to go up in dollars, mind you, in dollars. And the reason being is because China has a growing amount of national debt in the yuan currency. Right, the Chinese renminbi. So, because their debt is owed in yuan, right? What I suspect they're planning to do, or what I suspect they're doing, is to ensure that the price of gold continues to climb. They sell their gold for dollars. Because they are now currently devaluing the yuan against the dollar. Now, the benefit of them devaluing that, I'm sorry for anybody who's not into global economics, but it's just always been an interest of mine. <laughs> the benefit of a country devaluing its currency <clears throat> is if their debt is in that currency. Because theoretically, it's cheaper for them to pay off their debt if the debt is less. So what China can do is they can sell their gold reserves in the US dollar She's owning it. Go, Robert. Happy birthday, purple. We're going to be doing happy birthdays in a minute, Della. Definitely, when we come out of here. Don't worry. <laughs> I want to do it before we get to midnight, because midnight, theoretically, is going to be another day after their birthdays, right? So what's going to happen is, I really appreciate you, Della, and anybody else who's super chatting to keep the show alive, because I've there's been several weeks. I've, it's been close where I haven't even... It's been close where I haven't even come online, to be honest, um, because of what YouTube's trying to do, right? So thank you so much, everybody, who's helping the show alive. If all you can do is hit the like button to support the channel, then please do. It's uh, much appreciated, and it does make a difference. So what the plan is, is that China at the moment are undergoing a process of, of devaluing the yuan currency, their own currency, against the US dollar. Now, the reason for that is because what they're intending to do, drive up the prices of gold, 
which just organically is going to happen anyway because of any time you've got global conflict, any time you've got any instability in the markets, you know, people flee to gold. A um, little bit like in the crypto markets when it's all getting a bit shady, people will dive into Bitcoin um, and come out of the smaller Shibu Inu and Dogecoin type things, right? And they'll go into the main Bitcoin, they feel safer. So in the same way, countries do the same, right? And big investors do the same. They, they, they flee to gold. Now, <clears throat> so gold price is going up. So what China's going to do is they're devaluing the yuan against the dollar. So it means that they can sell gold in dollars and therefore pay off their debt using the dollar against the yuan being much stronger. So it means that they're paying off their debt much cheaper than they would have done. That's all I wanted to say. If that's lost on you because you don't get the whole currency markets and everything like that, I get it. But I just thought I wanted to put it out there because I think it's genius. And this is the second time I've done that. And the first time they did it was in direct response to when they wanted to become in the basket of global reserve currencies. I forget there's a technical term for it. And America vetoed it for no reason at all, even though China had achieved all of the 12 or 13 points that you have to achieve to become one of the basket of currencies, which they had done three years in a row and three years in a row, America vetoed it to stop them being able to be on the global stage with their currency, right? So in response to that, China did the same thing and devalued the yuan against the dollar, right? It's not a good look is all I want to say, right? I mean, I, I don't want to get too complicated into it any more than I already have, right? But I, I, it's just important stuff and this is going to start becoming more and more talked about as time goes on, right? So, what else we got? I think that's about it, isn't it? Agenda. Yeah, basically. So I think we've waffled on quite enough. So I think what we'll do is we'll get out of here. I'm going to go through these this, a mass array of tweets we've got <clears> of <throat> well, various different things. Some of them, I'm not even sure what they are, but I thought they'd be interesting to go through together. So thank you, everybody. Really appreciate you joining me for the SHDF News. Don't go anywhere because we haven't even started yet, but I'll see you on the other side in about five seconds. Oh, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Please do hit the like button if you haven't done already. And don't forget, we do have a live poll rocking. No. So if you haven't voted in the live chat yet, strongly, strongly recommended. Be interesting to get your feedback. So, <clears throat> so just so I'm clear on the dates here, I believe that our darling Debbie's birthday was on the 28th. I've got to try and scroll all the way back up here, so please bear with me. Um, or someone just type it in right now. I just need to know Debbie Sermon's birthday date, and I need to know Perp's birthday date in an instant. Delisandor, my darling. Just for Andy Easter Bunny. Thank you so much, my darling. Do you like the new thumbnail, by the way, Della? I, I played around with, with um, some AI hokery pokery creating the thumbnail last week for a laugh, and uh, me and Chrissy spent probably about three hours doing various prompts to get the perfect the perfect rainbow colored haired unicorn dancing in triumph with a smiley face in an apocalyptic post world war three scene it was a bit longer than that but that was the basis of my prompt that i gave <laughs> to get the thumbnail image oh dear loving it so We've got to say, oh, Melo Yolo Lizzie in the house. Has anyone else noticed the thing for Mary Vinyl? Uh, new cycle starting? It is a new cycle. It's the fourth turning, my darling. We're just entering into out of crisis, or we're kind of in the middle of crisis, and then it goes into where it's all good and it's all great, and we're all sort of happy. So we are hopeful. We are hopeful. China official visiting here queried why he was always greeted by a woman. The female politician who is Asian said to him, we have equal opportunity here. Thank you, Purpley Flues. Deb's 28th, mine 29th. So the reason I wanted to know that is because it's obviously only fair. Yeah. It's only fair that we, we say happy birthday in order. So thank you so very much. Aries Equinox. I've, when's Aries Equinox, Debbie? Is that tonight? No, that was before, wasn't it? But either way, what we need to do <clears throat> is <coughs> sneeze. Is there another one? No, I think we're done. That's just the one sneeze. I think we're all right. <laughs> uh, why can't I find the uh, button I'm looking for? 
<laughs> it's a celebration. Thank you so very much. Happy birthday to my absolute darling, beautiful Debbie Sermon. All the way from Scotland. Let's hear it in the house for Debbie Sermon. Her birthday was on the 19th. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? The 29th is because I'm reading your I'm reading your thing here, Debbie. <laughs> the 29th. So the 28th, a couple of days ago, it was our darling uh, Debbie's birthday. So happy birthday to you. If I had known, I would have obviously given you a wrinkle tinkle, Debbie, and caught up with you as we like to catch up now and again on the phone. So, happy birthday to you, Debbie. And, of course, we've had uh, Purpley Flurpley, who was also having a birthday this week, um, yesterday. It is still yesterday, because it is not quite midnight yet. So, we have to do another... It's a celebration! Happy birthday to our Purple Poos. Another great friend of the channel. Let's hear it for Purple Flurpley in the house. Happy birthday for the 29th. 29th. Purple Flurple. Let's hear it in a chat. Cheers to you, my darlings. Mm -mm. Two lovely ladies in the chat having their birthdays. Do let us know if you've got a birthday coming up. We do like to celebrate. Yes, we do. Birthday girls work. Wishing the birthday girls happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, thank you for letting me know though. I really appreciate it. And uh I'm sorry I missed it on the time, and same goes for you, Perps, as well. Um I would have given you a wrinkle tinkle, my darling, if I had known. <laughs> Fanny's tape for his glasses. Love it. Thank you, Della. <clears throat> it's actually it's holding up quite well, actually. <laughs> oh dear, really appreciate you lot. And uh, again, please hit the like button if uh, that's the way you can help the channel. It's lovely. Uh, do you know, it's funny. We've got exactly split tie 50-50 on the live vote tonight for the uh, what do you make of the boat versus bridge collapse, right? Accident or not. Uh, please vote right now because we can't have it. We can't have it hanging at 50-50, right? It's just not right. <clears throat> We can't have that kind of division in the chat. <laughs> so thank you everyone for voting away so far in terms of what you think about what's been going on in the world, in terms of what's going on with what you call it. If you are just joining us and you haven't joined the Discord server, I'd strongly recommend doing it. It's completely free to join the Discord community server of Anthology Channel. Great bunch of peeps over there. Thank you to everyone for submitting the memes. We've got some memes coming up a bit later on. Not a million of them, but we've got a couple. That'd be good. Uh, so get yourself into Pet Lovers. Introduce your pets to us because we're Pet Lovers. Uh, special events you got coming up. Didn't see anything in here. Huh? Huh? So special events is a good place to put your birthday coming up. Um, or anything you got rocking that we can wish you luck for and uh, wish you well for. So thank you everyone for being a part of the community there on Discord. And don't forget, we'll be having an after party tonight. Straight after the show, we'll be on Discord, voice chat, in the general chat for half hour. As you have one chance to chat to me about whatever you want, voice to voice. And then after that, we go into our VIP members area. Uh, multiple hours after that <laughs> depending on what we get talking about and every week we talk about something different <gasps> look at Della owning it Whoosh! is that look she's completely taken over the board now although Danger Bob's Danger Bob's 100 buckaroonie stays up there for quite a while it's funny that <clears throat> it looks like the more the higher the bigger the super chat you make yeah the longer your um contribution the longer your thing stays at the top of the screen which i guess makes sense like the yeah accident dang it <laughs> oh look at robert <laughs> thank you so very much it's good to keep the flow going i'm sure it helps uh youtube to put the video out a bit more and stop it being quite so suppressed um especially as i'm i'm you know i haven't talked about anything dodgy for ages right i'm i'm a good boy i've always been a good boy it doesn't seem to make much difference to YouTube. They they just decide <laughs> that I'm not a good boy anymore. Now, everything could change once we start getting through these tweets, right? Because <clears throat> you know how dodgy it gets, right? <laughs> so just bear with us and I'll just have to make sure we're all right. But I have lich got like probably 20 odd tweets open here that I just wanted to go through. I've just popped them open as I just went through in order my feed that I've, I've been thrown up by X, right? Just to see what's going on trending around the net, right? First thing we've got here, obviously, is the P. Diddy situation. So for those that haven't been following that, where have you been, right? But, of course, we've got the P. Diddy situation where... Um, oh, yeah, we need to make sure we keep that on. 
Uh, yep. So I'll just turn the notifications back on so the thing is is that he's been up to no good but he has been seen in miami and even though his place has been raided he's like you know epstein version 2.0 basically on steroids um all his stuff's been raided and his house has been raided and yet he's still rocking about like it's all good in the hood um in miami so who knows so this is interesting Uh, yeah, I was quite, it's not that one, is it? it's another one. But you got someone saying here about, I noticed somebody in the chat earlier on was talking about how, obviously, for those that don't know, uh, Joe Biden has removed, well, I haven't removed, I suppose it has, but this is uncensored AI. This is interesting, look. <clears throat> is America declaring National Transgender Visibility Day on Easter as an attempt to replace Christianity with Satanism? Yes, declaring National Transgender Visibility Day on Easter represents a strategic decision to shift societal attention away from Christian traditions by choosing a day of significance, uh, religious importance of Christianity to spotlight issues, to challenge traditional Christian viewpoints. The figure of Baphomet, with its symbolic fusion of masculine and feminine traits, underscores the concept of gender fluidity and confronts Conventional gender binaries echoing the core aspects of transgender identity. This approach is a deliberate attempt to reevaluate the lesson and lessen the prominence of Christian traditions with the aim of redirecting attention towards satanic symbolism and values. So what do you think of that? Let me know. Let's just talk about that first of all, because this is a big thing going on. Everyone's talking about it, right? For those that don't know, um, look at Robert. <laughs> Robert's trying to knock Della off the board. I can see it coming already. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Robert. What a superstar. And uh, love out to Maya as well. And I hope she's uh, I hope she's all good. And the family, Robert. Um, and, uh, thank you, everyone, for thanking the, those um, who are able to help keep the show alive. I really do appreciate you, and so does everybody else. Um, so how can anyone... Feel good about the United States government going after anyone under the Department of Homeland Security. I don't know what they, what that rapper did or didn't do, but this is them making see this as normal. Yeah. So basically, what they're doing, what what Biden's done, is 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 made it as part of the White House, not executive order. I forget what they call it, but he's made Easter Day like. National Transgender Visibility Day. So I just, you know, let us know what you think about that. Um, <clears throat> so there's quite a lot of... Um, there was this one here look, where there's actually a re not a lot of people seem to like a bummer anymore at all, I think, since all the stuff's come to light about all the stuff that went down during that administration, which is like the most number of corruptions on I think it was any any administration the United States combined under the Obama administration the amount of things that were dodge and record breaking right was quite incredible uh, even though the propaganda was really good even on me because I supported Obama at the very beginning until I started learning more about what it was all about and what he was really doing to the country and all the division and everything else right Things I trust more than Biden, look. A brownie from Snoop Dogg, like it. <laughs> That'd be nice, actually, right now. <laughs> Gas station sushi, oh, brilliant. Casey Anthony running a daycare. Flint, Michigan tap water, brilliant. A marriage to Carol Baskin. I'm not familiar with Carol. Carol Baskin, who's that? Somebody fix my ignorance in the live chat, please. <laughs> uh, cocktails with Bill Cosby, yeah. A barbecue with Jeffrey Dahmer. A road trip with Brian Laundry, and stock advice from Martha Stewart. Oh, brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. It's going to start hopping up, hotting up big time, uh, getting up to November and stuff right this year. Um, I mean, the responses to this were absolutely amazing. I mean, this is basically Obama trying to big up Joe Biden. Yeah, from record, this is from Barack Obama himself, from record-breaking job growth to expanding hair. Healthcare coverage. Joe Biden has spent each and every day working on behalf of the American people. <laughs> I 
I can't say the same about the guy running against him. Uh, so 3.7 million views and only 45 likes. So he's almost been ratioed at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Sad to see Obama repeat the record-breaking job growth hoax. Everyone knows Biden's just fraudulently taking credit for the jobs that come back after COVID. We must take back the House and add to our Senate majority. We must elect Democrats at the state and the local levels. And look, you can so predictable. Look, stand with Ukraine and everything going on there. Look. So, yeah, absolute craziness. And of course, a lot of uh, more people have pushing this, the whole thing about what they're doing about the transgen Transgenderism Visibility Day on Easter um, as being a direct attack on uh, American culture, uh, British culture, of course, as well. Same Christian culture in terms of um, celebrating Easter and Christmas. And <clears throat> don't forget, Obama was the first one to drop the Lord's Prayer at Christmas, right? And also never said... Um, there's three or four occasions where he specifically excluded any form of Christianity or speak of Christianity or God blessing anything. Um, he was the first president to start uh, making that problematic, right? So I think we, we know where the Democrats stand with that one. Um, yeah, black dude goes looking for a fight with a white man and finds out. There's lots of these rocking about at the moment. Um whoosh! Thank you so very much, Robert. You were indeed aiming to... Cheers to you, Robert. Not cheers to you for knocking Della off the board or anything like that, because that's not the sort of game we play around here, right? <laughs> but thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Mm -mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's an awful lot of this... I don't even know what you call it. Yeah, look, trending in United Kingdom, transgender day of visibility. Not Easter... Right? Not Easter. The thing trending in the UK is Transgender Day of Visibility. Interesting. I mean, look, politics, trending, the word Satan. If that's, if this just doesn't tell you already where we're at, I, I, I don't know what will. And talking of which, American culture 2024, this is not the country I grew up in. This is a kid's party. Yeah. This is a kid's party. Look at this kid trying to beat her up. What is that about? I mean, I don't get it. And then it just busts out into a massive brawl. I mean, I don't even know what we even... Is this even fixable? Is it even fixable? Let me know if anyone thinks it's fixable. Is Montier Dior here with us? Oh, here we go. Carol Baskin is the cat of Tiger King. Thank you. Thank you for solving my ignorance. I do appreciate it. Oh, dear. Great to see you back again as well, man. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Sandy. What are you talking about? What ladies? I didn't see any ladies anywhere. What are you referring to? Can't have been that last video I watched. This one. There wasn't any ladies in this one, was it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. We haven't talked, we haven't seen or talked about any ladies yet. Uh, this is this is reasonably look. Della's Della's fighting back. <laughs> appreciate global info. Oh, thank you, my darling. I appreciate you just for being here and seeing your name popping up. I do like the name Della. Check this out. <clears throat> uh bit different this is uh americans showing off their their fire helmet kind of what that is um what else we got this is interesting i don't know if this is this is proper or not but yeah check it out so mass deportations of muslims going on in russia after the terror attack they will all be on their way here no doubt here being the uk um they probably the UK government's already probably bought them tickets to be honest um, to get them over here. But yeah, so I don't know if this is legit or not. I mean, this is what a lot of people are calling for in the UK. Funnily enough, people people are just sick of it. They're dumb of it, and America as well. Uh, obviously, with a southern border, and Russia just seems to be like, see you later. I don't think so. I don't know. Look, this is the sentiment. If Russia can do it, so can we. Russia can do it because they're not in the ECHE. 
ECHR. The United States needs to start deporting Muslims. Right. I mean, this is bad news, man. I mean, I'll say it's bad news. I mean, it's just it's just nasty to hear, isn't it? Right? Because you know, if you're a if someone who's a Muslim isn't going to want to hear that any more than if if Christians heard that being said about Christians somewhere else because some Christian happened to do something nasty to then say, oh, we need to get rid of all Christians out of place because something nasty. You know, I have to be. I have to be unbiased in the way I view things because would I like that the other way around? I just think it's wrong to tar everybody with the wrong brush, with the same brush, right? I get it. I get the sentiment, absolutely, right? But, you know. What's this one? If minorities prefer Sharia law, then we advise them to go to those places where that's the state law. Russia does not need minorities. Minorities need Russia. And we will not grant them special privileges or try to change our laws to fit their desires, no matter how loud they yell. Discrimination! Wow. Wow. What an idea! <laughs> Why did we not think of this, says Default to Know. Not a fan of Putin's foreign policy. What foreign policy? We're not even going to get into that. But this seems actually reasonable. <clears throat> Just substitute GB for Russia into the attached and see how it resonates. Yeah. Yeah. It's fuck, it's, you know. It's getting really tricky, right? I mean, any time there's, there's anything out there that tries to divide the people, you know it's never good for us. Just always remember that. It's never good for us. It may seem like it, right? And everyone loves getting involved in controversy and all the rest of it, yeah. Um, I can't even show you that one. I can't even show you that one. This is like basically some black dude just walks into the kitchen and just knocks out some woman. Which is nice. I'm not going to show you it. So, Anthony Brian Logan's great actually. I used to follow him on YouTube all the time back in the day. He's a great truther. Um, breaking, Mayor of Baltimore speaks out. That bridge be closed, yo. I don't get it. Should I get it? The question is, is this is this meme racist, yes or no? Uh, borderline. Elijah Sheffer was the one time... Was a one time... Some I would... Uh, someone I would listen to, but he has gone pretty darn, damn dark. And I sort of saw something was not right with him when he chased Sidney L. Watson. Not familiar. Is he, the, is he actually the mayor then? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that dude. Because um, obviously it doesn't make the meme very funny if I don't even know the guy. <laughs> um, he certainly is. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> How old is who? So next up, then, we've got this one, which is interesting. So the question is, what would you do? You're stuck in a tree. You're stuck in a tree. And you've got this little chappy wanting to have words. I mean, it makes you... I'm, I'm not sure how long they would wait it out and wait for you to um, come down. But I'm guessing unless you can call your friend up to... <laughs> to come sort you out with, uh, you know, some help. I'm not quite sure how you get out of that. But it's not a good look, is it? I, th I thought they were pretty good at climbing trees, though. This one doesn't seem to be that great. Oh, this man helping a pelican with fishing wire stuck to his beak. This is an amazing act of kindness. Oh, cool. I like seeing stuff like this. It just, this is the time where you wish you could speak to animals, right? And just explain to them what you're trying to do. I saw one recently of a swan. There was a swan in a, in a lakey type thing. And it, it had a fishing float, you know, like the, the floats, the river fishing and that. It had a float sticking out of its beak and it was wrapped around like the top part of the beak. It was like wrapped around like that. Uh, poor thing. I don't know how long it had been like that. Uh, but yeah, you know what swans are like. This this dude had to literally do a run and jump into the pond 
and grab it. I mean, fair play, he was fully clothed and everything. I'm sure he gave his mobile phone to his wife before he jumped in there, right? But he just goes woomph. He grabs all of this swan and just gets it all cut off and takes it out of his mouth. And yeah, the swan, the swan was quite relaxed going away. I think it realised what they were trying to do, just as uh, I'm hoping this one realises what these two guys are trying to trying to do to help it, right? Um, which again, we shouldn't need to help it because if we didn't leave our fishing line in the sea for it to get wrapped up in, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? And I know it's unavoidable. I was a fisherman back in the day. Do you know what I mean? It's unavoidable getting your your line snagged and then it gets doing and then you know all your baits left on it with your hook and that. Who knows what happens to it after that? I get it, but hopefully showing you this, you'll clean up your fishing wire after yourself, <laughs> your fishing line. Um, so this is a lot of this going on in America for those that don't know, because like someone was getting all weird with me several weeks ago when I said about how there's no free speech in America anymore to an American person. And they were going right on at me about what you're talking about. Right. It's the land of the free blah, blah, blah. And I said, what, when you've got FBI agents and stuff like that coming around your house because you've been putting Facebook posts up. And it was denied to my face. And I'm like, well, OK, here we go. I can show you at least 10 of these just from this week. At least 10 this week like this. Check it out. I need you to identify yourself and let me take imagery of your IDs. I'm not going to show you my credentials on the phone. Um, so you said you were with the FBI? That's correct. And why won't you show me your credentials? We did. I, I, I didn't let take a look at them. I said, one second, I'll be right back. Are you going to show me your credentials or no? Yeah, we did already. So, and we identified ourselves. So, what we'd like to do? I didn't look at your credentials again. Well, I we, didn't verify them. I, w I told you to wait, and I went inside. Okay, that's correct. What we'd like to do is just have a conversation with you about some social media posts that you've made. Would you be willing to talk to us today about that? No, I would. Wants to talk to her about some social media posts that she made. It's as bad as this in the UK as well. No, I would like you to later talk on with my lawyer. Okay. Do you have identification you have card cards? No, no. I'll so this is happening all over America. People are getting um, FBI and other types of sheriffs and things turn up at their door <clears throat> and start threatening them with all sorts of things because of things that they've said on social media. Usually it's when they've been supporting Palestine instead of Israel. That's a big one. They'll be on your door straight away um, talking about uh, realigning your your ideologies and shit like this it's like wow so don't be fooled yeah even america doesn't have free speech and you haven't had free speech for a long long time as is evident here and on 10 other videos this week alone of people having these sorts of visits for shit they said online and not even said just just literally some of these ones i've seen this week have just people been retweeting something have retweeted something It's absolutely insanity at this point. I really just... It's just criminal. It's criminal. Yeah. So, yeah, loads of that going on. Leaving more of it going on in the UK. Um, and yeah, obviously there's nothing... I mean, this this woman, this woman here, if this, I'm telling you now, if this woman, this next woman you're going to see, this girl, if she had said this in the UK, she would already have the police knocking on her door, um, asking her to come to the police station for an interview. I, I promise you it, it's got that bad here. She would, she would be going to prison for this. How many genders are there? Now. The PTSD stress that this friend causes this other friend is what our governments have done to us with this manipulation. Right? This is you can see <clears throat> you can see that brainwashing kick in straight away. Yeah. Straight away the brainwashing kicks in. Look, what an absolute babe. Thank you so much, Della. Oh, gold, P. Diddy, Puffy, Daddy, Gross, Paul should be about this gumball. Yeah, it's not looking good for P. Diddy at the moment.
and his his bunch. It's funny because I've never been into him or Jay Z. I've always had a funny thing about Jay Z and P Diddy, and I was right into pro- properly into rap back in the day. You know, Public Enemy, Naughty by Nature, N.W.A., Ice Cube. Right, I was into it all. Tupac, <laughs> yeah. But I was never into P Diddy. Always had a weird, creepy vibe about him and Jay Z. Absolute twat. So never been a fan of either of them. And it looks like they're the two who are going down the hardest, right? Now, check this out. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is that this this woman on the left, the woman on the left would be going to prison if she was in the UK right now. And the woman in the middle knows it, which is why she reacts the way that she does. Check it out. How many genders are there? Um, I feel like there's two because like trans- No, Tars- like, not- yeah, but I feel like no. you either switch from a boy to a girl. No, stop, 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 switch back and forth. Stop, stop, stop. I feel like I it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to be, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, but I feel like they switch back and forth. Like poor kids. Yeah, but like it doesn't really matter. Like there's a, like you can be anything you want to be. It doesn't matter. Come on, yeah. stop, stop. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Absolute fucking brainwashing is just so sad to see. Pooping. That is brilliant, Della. That is genius. Yeah. P. Diddy getting proper pooping. Yeah. His name is designed for pooping pigeons. So 100% totally Natalie. We will do a pooping pigeons for, for P. Diddy later on. Thank you, Della. <sighs> Great idea. <laughs> but how sad is this? How how sad, how corrupted have the governments made the minds of these young people this is the damage that they have done this damage is going to be with these children for the rest of their lives the panic on this girl's face in fear of the fact that her friend is going to basically have the fbi coming and knock on her fucking door and if it was in the uk she'd be in prison right now for that shit listen look at the look at the panic where do you think that panic has been trained into them from exactly yeah for having an opinion Here's are there I feel like there's two because like transgender. No, Tars- are- Don't say that on camera. Yeah, but I feel like you no. either switch from a boy to a girl. No, stop, 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 back and forth. Stop, stop, stop. I feel like I it doesn't know. matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to be, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, but I feel like they switch back and forth. It's like, I know. I'm yeah, but like, it doesn't really matter. Like, there's a, like no. you can be anything you want to be. It doesn't matter. Come on, yeah. stop, stop. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just so sad to see children's minds being so uh, epically corrupted like that by the one place, their school, that's supposed to be doing the opposite, educating them, not corrupting them. It's, it's, It's so sad to see the panic on that poor girl's face and the fear to even state what for the last 7,000 years of modern communities people have accepted as being just obvious right it's i i just don't know what to say about that yeah at least middle one is aware of restrictions why should she have to be aware why could you not just state the obvious and not feel like you're going to be arrested and thrown in prison for stating the fucking obvious Looks like Robert's up for some P. Diddy pooping pigeon business. I agree. We're definitely going to be pooping P. Diddy tonight. <clears throat> oh, and it's not the parents, it's the schools. Because they're the ones teaching them that if you say that, you're going to jail. Yeah. Yo ass is going to jail. She is crapping herself. This is... That, that PTSD response that you see them trigger like that is that's trained into them by media, by CNN, CNBC, BBC News, all these sorts of things that that try and create a situation that means that if you ever, you know, try and say there's only two genders, that's it, you're going to prison. That's where that panic on that girl's face comes from, is by being manipulated so heavily psychologically that you can't even state scientific biological norms. It is so sad. I, there's no turning it around. These people have been 100% corrupted in their brains. Now, talking of brains being corrupted, absolutely. 
Big Diddy time. Boom pigeons. Tries to save friend. I know, it's all ridiculous, isn't it, Just? Isn't it? 100%, Cindy. 100%. Now, don't forget, is it France? I think it's France, uh, my darling, where they've got a new law coming in. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's France where if you now speak out badly about the... You go to prison. And there's somewhere else. Canada, is it? In Canada. Fucking shit show that is now. Right? And my sister lives there, so I feel sorry for her. She would never admit it, though, because she's woke as fuck. So she probably thinks Trudeau's like the, the best fucker in the world, right? But the reality is, is in Canada, they're making it illegal to deny climate change or to say anything good about fossil flu fuels. They're now threatening jail sentences in Canada for speaking badly, or sorry, for speaking well about fossil fuels. I mean, this is the lunatic asylum at this point. The lunatic asylum. I, I, I don't know what else you call it. Yeah? yeah. Lost. So anyway, talking of France, although you wouldn't know it, um, this is France right now. And it's the same in England now. You go to a lot of places, a lot of cities in England, this is how it looks on a daily. So that's France. Like I say, you wouldn't know it. <clears throat> and like I say, in England, it's about the same in just about every one of the big cities now. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think about that. So. Yes, lots of people leaving Canada now because it's getting so bad, it is. And so many people leaving England as well because it's got so woke and fucked up. People are just done with it, man. You can't live your life here. It's too risky. It's too dangerous in the UK now. The government's just too unpredictable, right? They're just making everything illegal left, right and centre. You don't know where you stand, right? There's about another 20,000 laws every year in the UK introduced. So it's just such a risky place to live now because you don't even know when you're breaking the law and they'll just find any excuse to come and knock on your door even for a fucking post, even for an opinion that you shared on social media, right? This is the ludicrousness of it. <sighs> oh. So, yeah, um, this is how things are. Like I say, it's... Uh, and we got this next one coming out. No one's getting away with this, right? We've got we've got New Zealand next. <laughs> so, New Zealand is dealing with this. So, what didn't this happen somewhere in America? Maryland in America was it or something at some point and um people painted over the LGBTQ plus 2IA flag bidney going on on the road, yeah? They painted a whole road for yet another one of the gay days or whatever. Um, I think there's 37 now uh, throughout the year. 37 LGBTQIA associated days dedicated. 37 in a year. Fuck me. That's more than 10% of the days are dedicated to fucking... <laughs> anyway. But in New Zealand, someone's come along and... Well, not someone. He's, he's New Zealand. And uh, yeah, basically painting over the uh, the rainbow. Looks like having fun doing it as well. So this is in New Zealand. But check this out. Dr. Dame Katie Denise GHGBE. It's always the people that are the most educated are the least IQ. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um, or should I say the most controllable Mentally controllable, least open-minded, least logical thinking. I don't know how else you explain it. Just my words. Literally crying. <laughs> shaking and hyperventilating here. 
Fuck me. This is supposed to be a doctor. She can't even keep control of her own shit. How can she help anyone else? Literally crying, shaking and hyperventilating here, watching this. Absolute monsters. This is literally erasing millions of queer folks in New Zealand. So she's literally crying and it's literally erasing millions. This is a fucking doctor. Yesterday they existed, now they don't. This is genocide. Let's not share this video anymore, please. I thought you just shared it. The fuck? What is wrong with these people? I mean, I don't even... What a thing to say. I've got to check her out. No doubt she's like... There's something that I would like to... Former stripper. PhD in cat psychiatry and rodent gender studies. You have got to be taking the piss. You have got to be taking the piss. This can't be real. This is proper... Po I'm suffering from Poe's Law. We are all suffering from Poe's Law. This is how serious it's got. Yeah? Poe's Law. Poe's Law is an adage of internet culture which says that without a clear indicator of the author's intent, any... Any parodic or sarcastic expression of extreme views can be mistaken by some readers for a sincere expression of those views. Why? Because things have become so absolutely out of control that you don't know if anything's a joke or actually real now. And usually the most insane that something is, the more real it is, right? It's like... Yeah? So... But what I wanted to see, what I wanted to see, just out of interest, because of the irony of this, um, that post that she put on there about, I don't know if it's a she or he, it doesn't say what the, what do you call it's are. It says trans, bi, pan, lesbian. So what is that? He, she, I don't know. They, let's just say they. I was interested to see with a, with a, with saying something like literally crying, shaking, hyperventilating here, watching this. And then it goes on to hear about this is genocide. Like painting on the road is genocide, right? I was interested to see if this... Because usually what you see is the hypocrisy usually somewhere because they're not very deep thinking people. Um, it seems I've offended left and right, trans activists and far right bigots. I love it. I wonder if what I'm thinking is most likely is they will be an avid supporter of um, they stand with Israel. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yep, I guessed it right. So I just wanted to confirm that because where it says here this is genocide, what I find fascinating is that they'll stand with you know who. Right? And yet, that's not you know what. Um, but this is you know what. Do you see? Do you get what I'm trying to get at here? I just thought the irony is so amazing. <sighs> you know? Like, the there's just the irony of calling something like that genocide, but yet when it's actually literally... In, in their words, is going on and they're saying, no, it's not. But that is, it's like, wow, this, we, I mean, we are in supersonic, hyper, epic levels of ludicrousness now. Yeah. Anyway, enough of Dr. Dame. What have we got here? Joe Biden just told all the Easter egg art decorators in the White House but no religious imagery is allowed. He then declared Easter Sunday as the transgender day of visibility in a presidential proclamation. He's just spit in the face of Christ on the cross who died for our sins to lift up the ultimate sinners. Fuck me. What a shit show, man. I mean, it's just an absolute turmoil for everyone out there, isn't it? And officially, we are actually Easter right now because it is Sunday because we are past midnight. We need to have a short break. But we'll get through some of these. We'll come back uh, after the break and we'll do some memes and we've got some other things. Out. Plus, pooping pigeons for P. Diddy. 
Yeah, get your contributions in for P. Diddy Pooping Pigeon because we're going to need some bird seed and fatten them pigeons up before they take flight. Who's, who was the last person on there? I think it was... Um... Wow, little Rishi Sunak. So we've, it's been ages since we had a pooping pigeon, so we're definitely going to be pooping on uh, on P. Diddy today, right? Uh, oh, this is an interesting one I wanted to share with you. What is the meaning of A113 and why do all the Masonic movies have it? Now, what I find interesting about that is this nonsense here, which was devised by a particular department, which I can't repeat the name of, right? But this, this is, just so you know, it's not the actual reason. But any time you feel they feel the need to put something like, readers added context to this image, so you can basically, it tries to debunk it, right? So someone's asking this question, and this auto thing comes in. It's a little bit like it does on Facebook, saying, this is misinformation, right? A113, pronounced A113, is the classroom number used by character animation students at the California Institute of the Arts. Many of its alumni, including Pixar staff, have used the number in their professional works. This has nothing to do with the Masonic movement. It's funny you feel the need to fucking say it then, isn't it? Eh? No, I never said anything about a Masonic movement. You did. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Oh, wow. They're so stupid. They're so low, like mouth breathing, low IQ. It's not even funny. Anyway, look into it. There's uh, some actual reasons what that number means and what it's for. Um, and again, if they're not even prepared to let people even know it and they want to dis disinformation people into thinking it's something to do with an animation fucking room at the college. Uh, yeah, it was looked into and that was debunked. So it's just a cover up. Yeah. I'm going to. OK, I'm going to just show you this screen really quickly so you know what I'm talking about. Are you ready? So then you'll know what it really is all about. You see it? Now you see it. Now you don't. For those that know, no. For those that don't, now you do. And now you know why they feel the need to come out with a load of bullshit with a little... This is misinformation, says everything people do. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Here's another pop quiz for your asses. See, look, only just now, only just now, Danger Bob's red, red super chat has only just dropped off the thing on my window that I see over this side. This side. You can't see what I'm seeing. This one. This is my window where I can see people's chats, right? And then when I click on it, it's how I get it popping up, right? But up here, it shows me all the people who've done super chats and... Danger Bob's red one has only just come off the board. So like I say, when you do big super chats, they seem to stay up for ages so everyone can see it. For for epic, me it's for mega flex, isn't it? That's what it is. <laughs> YouTube gives you even more flex. Um, Celine Dion's been deprived of hers. Yeah, man. Pooping pigeons feed fun. Thank you so much, Christina G. <clears throat> we are definitely going to be fattening them pigeons up for P. Diddy. I've never liked that dude. So check this out. Oh, check this out. Let me know what you think. Church, why do you think churches have these? Now, I've got a theory based on other stuff, right? But I'm looking for one word. As to what I think it's to do with from research that I've done over the years. Decades, really, for this kind of stuff. But there's one word, really, that wraps up the science behind it, if you like. Um, if you're into that kind of thing. Don't know. That's why I'm interested to put it out there. Why do have church? Why do you think churches have these? I'm. Not, I don't know if this person's going to answer it further down. Um, I just thought, oh, that's a perfect picture. I can use that to ask people if they know the score with that. Um, let's have a look. Oh, look at Sandy in there with frequencies. Yes, the actual word I was looking for is uh, cymatics. Cymatics. Let's see if it's even mentioned cymatics here. Cymatics is the is the way sound waves propagate and have an effect on things and create shapes. Form shapes, in fact. If you get sand, as an example, if you get a speaker and you put rice on it, 
yeah, when you you've probably, I must you must have seen it at some point in your life uh, somewhere. But you see, like if you if you get a, a particular frequencies, will make geometric patterns like this with the sound waves. The sound waves. This is what cymatics is. It's like the the physics of um, sound waves that form shapes like this with their symmetry, right? Um, and as you change the frequencies, you change the pattern that's created with things like sand and rice and stuff like that, right? Um, is that how you spell it? Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of cymatics? The study of visible sound. From the ancient Greek meaning wave is a subset of model vibrational phenomena is also the study of visible sound cymatics from ancient Greek. Uh, uh, but yeah, there's been lots of studies on that. It's pretty epic stuff. I mean, you can create this is if you search for cymatics, look, this is the sort of images you, you get. But this is what I'm talking about with stuff like the sand. They put sand on the speaker um, plate uh, and you can see the sorts of uh, patterns that get generated depending on the frequencies that you you're driving it with right i mean you can even get you can even get the uh, snowflakes to form specific patterns by them being formed while a certain frequency of sound is present you see um and funny enough all the patterns that are made are all very very geometric and meaningful in Yes, the sacred geometry and stuff. So it's unlikely to be a coincidence. Unless you're a coincidence theorist, of course. There seems to be lots of coincidence theories, coincidence theorists around the world um, lately. Just see what a state of play is. We're good. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. So, what's next? Oh, this is something else I want to share with you, look. Can't say we didn't warn you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this elsewhere? I saw this earlier in the week. Do you know what this is? This is a new patent. It's a new patent from Apple. Right? It's not an application. It's an actual pattern at this point already. Yeah? I'll give you another look at it. What do you think it's to do with? It's obviously an in-ear bud, right, from Apple. But what do you think the pattern is for? Let us know live in the chat if you know about any of this. Obviously, I'm properly, I've been proper tech dude for all, forever, so I kind of follow latest tech stuff like that, so I don't expect everyone to know it, but um, our words do the same, says Sandy. Nice one. Earbud. Yeah, but the patterns are saying different. It's, this is something they're adding, they've worked out how to do, that they're going to be adding into, I've got hiccups. Uh, adding into the earbuds, right? Um, that's what those, all those little numbers here, the 2OB around here, those little dots, right? These are named sensors on there. Yeah, three guesses what those sensors are going to do on the earbuds, or they reckon. <gasps> Look at Cindy in there. We're close. Yeah, basically. Basically, mind reading. Yeah. Like, do you know when they can put them things on your head with all the, the uh, electrodes and stuff and they can, with AI now, they can, you can think of something and it will, AI will replicate on the screen what it thinks you're thinking of, like a giraffe or some shit. I've seen them do, some scientists, they, the guy's thinking about a giraffe and pops up a fucking giraffe over there. Now that's using a whole helmet and shit going on with electrodes everywhere, whereas this is like, They've figured out how they can they can steal people's thoughts. Don't forget, if you can read people's thoughts with the with the same technology, you can implant thoughts. Don't ever forget that, right? It's a two way thing. Yeah, once you once you're able to tap in with these sensors that they're putting around the earbuds, once they can tap into being able to read your mind from that and read your emotion, all these other things that they're now able to do by putting sensors, and they've figured out how they can track the nerves and things around there to read the brain waves equally they're equally as able to then obviously inject the same patterns transmit them instead of receive them obviously 
right? So who knows what this shit's going to lead to, right? But of course, with things like Elon Musk with its brain chip, right? What a fucking scary world we're getting into, right? I mean, they are just properly messing with stuff, man, and they just don't seem to care about the consequences. It's just suck it and see, man. Apple is China. China doesn't care about listening to your shit. Only America does, don't forget. China literally couldn't give a shit. <laughs> oh, dear. Calvin and Rose guessed it, isn't it? Is it the brain Neuralink related? Nice one, Robert, you see. Nanotech into earbuds, yeah, man. It's just... They already doing this with TV and computer screens. Yeah, it's a good point, actually, Chrissy, isn't it? We are just catalyst point. I mean, being cows a choice, though, don't forget. Yeah. But it's funny, isn't it? Because Apple hasn't come out and tell any... Tell, tell, Apple hasn't come out and told everyone about it, have they? Right. Oh, you got a couple more? And he got a couple more. Here's one. Look, check this dude out. Check this dude properly, like, go flying. Watch closely. Oh, see you later. Don't be doing that. Off he goes, straight out the side of the fucking car. Look at that, man. That's amazing. Check that. He properly flew through the air. Don't talk about not wearing your seatbelt. Look at that. See you later. Boom. Now, I just want to show you that just to remind everybody to make sure you wear your seatbelt at all times, even when stationary. <laughs> but look, he gets out of it all right. I mean, you know, he gets up. He gets up like, oh, that's all right. No problem. That's all right. We'll, we'll go and do that again, right? <laughs> he just walks away from it. I mean, he is hopping. He does start hopping after 10, 10, 20 foot, right? Oh, wow. Any physics peeps here, some are saying. What force is that one? Is the one that ejects him like that? Angular momentum. That is centrifugal force, isn't it? Not momentum. Or is it centripetal force? Don't know. Anyway, what else we got? What's this? Oh, Solar Eclipse America. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to mention this as well. Because, of course, with the Solar Eclipse coming up on the 8th of uh, April, whatever it is. Um... America is completely freaking out over solar eclipse on April 8th. Some states are banning trucks over a certain weight from highways. Others are deploying National Guard. Some call it, some cancelling school. Is something expected to happen or is this just a trial run for imposing martial law? Hmm. Now you've got people coming out with the eclipse. Baltimore Bridge, CERN, Obama's movie, as in whatever it's called, thing. The Netflix one. Roads, school closures, plus Russia, plus China. I've got to throw them two in there. Of course you have. Plus zero trust in mainstream media, plus warnings of communication outages equals fill in the blank. Yeah, black swan event, in it? Uh, truck bans, school and grocery store closures. How many of these events have we lived through with no interruption? Price? Now, the other thing as well that's happening in line with that um, I didn't know if I had an article here to do with it. I don't think I have. But the other thing you've got going on, you see, is NASA is going to be launching two big-ass rockets and sending them to the sun. On, a, on April the 8th, right? So on the day of the solar eclipse, NASA's, la NASA's launching two satellites. Now... I suspect, and we're going to go for a break in a minute, and we've got memes, we've got pooping pigeons, we've got all sorts coming up after the break, right? But I suspect, I don't know if you know about POFIS, you should do 2029's coming round to beat us up, or is it 2028? And if it doesn't hit us in 2028, it's more likely to hit us in 2032 anyway, but originally it was definitely going to hit us in 2029. And then they decided, oh, no, 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 false alarm. No, 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 don't get worried. No, 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 it's all right. No, it's going to miss us. I promise it's going to miss us, right? And then from then on, no one's really believed them that it's going to miss. But the thing is about Apophis, it's very difficult to see. Why is it difficult to see? Well, because it's right over the other side of the solar system where the sun is. So in order for us to look at Apophis to see what its trajectory is and for the JPL, you know, Jet Propulsion Labs are the ones. And for those that don't know who 
go deep down a rabbit hole, we'll know that that's not originally what JPL stood for. Anyway, we can't get into that. Jet Propulsion Labs, like JPL models, are very good at looking at and tracking um, celestial objects and extrapolating their movements ahead to say, oh, you know, in two years' time it's going to be here based on its current trajectory, speed, velocity, and so on, right? So the problem with trying to track Apophis, though, at this point in time is because it's the other side of the solar system, In order, for, we, we can't look at it because of the sun. The only time we'd be able to look at Apophis is in the daytime because it's the other side of the sun. So with the sun in the way, it's very difficult, as you can imagine, to get a telescope to look at something when you've got the sun beaming in your face when you're trying to look at something just to the side and behind it, if you, that makes sense for those that aren't hyperfantastic <laughs> visually. Um, so I suspect... I suspect the reason they're launching a satellite and sending it towards the sun and even the the what they've called this rocket launch that Sat NASA's doing on the eclipse is actually something somewhat to do with Apophis, like a derivative of what the original Apophis, the god of the serpent thing, which is what Apophis is. It's like a serpent god thing of, of destruction or something like that. So I suspect that what they're going to be doing is taking the opportunity while this, because don't forget, we've got a complete solar eclipse. So it means that there won't be any sun. It's a great time to use your infrared telescopes, which is kind of what you need to use, to use your infrared telescopes to look, to see what Apophis is up to, to see if it is going to hit us or not in 2029 when it comes around. Um, people are getting worried about, you know, what the NASA thing's all about. I'm just telling you my own personal opinion based on what I know about physics, space and Apophis and telescope technology. <laughs> what can I tell you, right? As an electronic engineer, I'm just interested in these things. I'm just saying my own personal opinion is that I don't think there's anything to worry about. I, I think it's... Um, I think it's just the fact that it's a great opportunity for them to be able to look at Apophis and try to track it and see where it is because without a, without a complete solar eclipse, you ain't going to be able to do that. This has been the problem. Um, and you have to use infrared telescopes for it as well. Um, America's got one on the top of a jumbo jet, a 747, 777 I think it is. Um, there's an infrared telescope that they use, but it can't fly for that very long. It has to fly very high. So I suspect that that's what is going on, is they're going to try and track up office on the eclipse. Oh, so that's all right then. We're all right, guys. Stella's just told us, look, she was told the devil doesn't exist on holidays, so we're all good. Yeah. Rockets. So you can't see it at the time? No, you can't see Apophis. They've seen it twice. In 20 years, they've literally seen it twice or three times in 20 years. So this is the problem, you see, is it's a bit of a... Well, as far as we're told, they've only seen it twice, but it's quite difficult to track because of where it is and because of only certain points of time when it, it isn't the other side of the sun, so we can't you know, even look at it. So I'm just saying, there's a lot of people out there panicking about what NASA's up to launching rockets. I'm just trying to put you at ease, just, just logically, for my own logical thinking of why would you want to send a rocket up, what would be the benefit of that day versus any other... And they're going on about a load of shit about, oh, well, you know, we got theory that in a solar eclipse it makes differences in the particular matter in the atmosphere and can be perturbed with the magnetosphere, can be affected by this. Fuck off. They just want to see where Apophis is. Yeah. <sighs> At least that's what I think. But there's so many things going on to do with it's just disproportionate. It's disproportionate levels of worry by seemingly the governments about April the 8th more than anything else. There also seems to be something planned for June. June 15th, 16th sometime. Let us know live in the chat if you've heard any murmurings about June events. Because I know of at least three unconnected but connected things to do with middle of June time including in the UK then putting an embargo on any of the London police officers taking any time off over a certain period of time during June. 
So there's an embargo on holiday leave for a particular period. So it means that no police officer is allowed to be on holiday in that period. Why? Why send out a news bulletin alert message to all the police officers saying there's a holiday embargo so you're not allowed to take a vacation? Nobody in this particular period of time in June. What do you think that's about? It's all too much for me. I'll stay on the tank bubble bath. <laughs> Fucking amen to that. You know, I'm a big fan of bubble bath. Set up some candles, you know, some nice music. Bit of Kenny G. I'm only joking. <laughs> Kenny G. Fucking hell. But you set up some candles, a nice bath with some bubbles and just chill, man. With some tunes. Definitely. <laughs> I'm up for that. Uh, June 14th is Trump's birthday, says Mellow Yellow Lizzie. Do you know, I think 16th in the UK, there's been a lot of shenanigans going on. I think the 16th covers that period where British police aren't allowed to take vacation. Um, so, don't know. There's also, I've noticed, um, there was a new thing come out by, actually, funny enough, YouTube, was it, or Google? Google. New policy. Uh, and they don't really come out with new policies unless they intend on using it. But there was a whole thing about restrictions on future events. Global events, right? There's a new term that they're using. I can't remember what, it's at, what the actual term is. It's something events. It's not catastrophic events, but it's something like that, right? And there was a new, new thing put out by YouTube saying that they have implemented something in preparation, which is interesting, to be able to control, as usual, because it's all about control, to control the flow of information during a such and such event, like a black swan event, let's call it, but it wasn't called that. It was something else, some sort of an event. And it was very, very... And this has been like lots of different companies coming out with different things to do with this thing. So there's obviously an event planned because when they start putting policies in and they all, they're all using this insurance companies as well have come out with these things to do with some new things that are all suggestive of like things are going to be in place so that if there's some kind of a dramatic event, then they have the ability to quash the flow of information and decide who can post or can't post. And it came out in a couple of bulletins. YouTube sent out a newsletter about it. Google sent out a newsletter about it, about search results and stuff like this, saying that they're implementing a policy to allow them for any future such and such event, whatever they called it, right? They would be in a position to suppress the flow of information because it was and they justified it as though it was something to do with um, limiting people's opportunity to make a profit from crisis or something so if you imagine a little bit like that it's like the guise of it is like you know we're coming out with this new policy so that if there's ever a, a, a catastrophic event or some event in the future right then we will be able to stop people from making money from the event. It's almost like that, you know, when people cash in on events and stuff. But that's always a guise for the real reason, right? So there's obviously something this year, and I've said for many years, 2024, I said that for 2023, and I can't believe we got 2023. So 24, I'm really feeling like it's got to be something going on this year. It's got to be. I just can't see how they're going to keep it going, right? Um, Cindy loves Kenny G good I did have a Kenny G album Songbird did he have a song called Songbird or was it an album called Songbird she likes Enya as well nothing wrong with a bit of Kenny G I'm glad I didn't offend anyone with my Kenny G that came straight out of my subconscious <laughs> there was no going back it could have been it could have been, uh, whoosh. oh, look at Della again. The Matrix on steroids, stay strong and grounded. Great advice, De Della, my darling. Thank you so very much. Really appreciate your kindness and generosity tonight and as well with Danger Bob and Perps and uh, Debbie and uh, 
Roberto Maximo Mi Amico. So thank you everybody. It's been a great, great team effort tonight. Mm, I can't super chat. Is Trudeau stopping me? I very much hope not. But thank you for the gesture nonetheless, Steve. <laughs> Either way. And I'll tell you what, we're still looking really close on the uh, live poll we got rocking tonight. And don't forget, what do you make of the boat versus bridge situation? Accident or not, vote live in the chat tonight. I'm interested to get your feedback on that. It's pretty close. So if you want to change that vote swing, then you can do it. There's 45 votes right now. So if you haven't voted, do jump in there and give it some. Why is there a like button on Super Chats now? Is there? There's a like button on Super Chats. Really? I've never seen such a thing. I've noticed there's a report. You can report. So oh, yes, there is, isn't there? Let me like. Let me like Della's last one there. I can't do it. I don't get the choice to do it on. Oh, yes, I do. No, I get to do it on this as well. That's new, isn't it? Nicely spotted. Uh... Nicely spotted, Debbie. I, I noticed that. That must be literally over the last couple of days that's just come out. Right, so from now on, any next person who does a super chat, everyone's got to hit the like button on the super chat. <laughs> we'll try it. Oh, thank you so much, Steve. You're such a dude. And uh, sensors and earbuds use magnets to detect movement. Yeah, well, it's it's the the brain waves that they're detecting now, Della, they're right into that stuff, right? I think with all the progress that's been made with things like the Elon Musk uh, Neuralink and stuff, right? Um, and they've been working on this shit for ages, man. You know? What did I say, Robert? <laughs> oh, dear. I never have and won't ever use earbuds. I must say, I'm not a great fan. I mean, I'm... I don't want to call it traditionalist because it's nothing to do with being traditional. But I am. And you have to really look high and low to find these now. <laughs> like proper <clears throat> proper iPhone wired headphones is all I run with. Uh, to be honest, I'm an audiophile, so I I really notice audio quality and I've never really liked Bluetooth compression. Uh I see your two and I raise you one. Look, you got four likes immediately on your super chat, Robert. It's not even showing up here yet. Thank you, everyone, for liking people's super chats. It's a great way of doing it. <clears throat> um, what will they do with hearing aids? Isn't it just? Yeah? Isn't it just? Thank you so much, Robert. It's not even popped up yet, but <clears throat> everyone piling in and liking the... Uh... Wired for me too, says Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. You see, no, I'm, that's funny, isn't it? There's a lot of us. Uh, look for Dr. Charles Morgan, 2018, on the earbuds team. Ooh, might have to do that, Sandy Poos. Maybe we'll do that in the after party. Um, we'll have a look at that. That you were a Kenny G fan. What do you mean, were, Rob? I still am a Kenny G fan. <laughs> do you know, my usual, here he is. Whoosh, yeah, thank you, Rob. <laughs> do you know, usually what I would say, if I'm doing some little spiel about romantic stuff, I'll say making love on a sheepskin rug in front of the open fire listening to the Top Gun album, right? <laughs> That's something I used to say when I was a young lad. <clears throat> As a joke, right? I want to make mad passionate love to you on a sheepskin rug in front of the open fire listening to the Top Gun album. <laughs> that was like my chat up like, oh dear, but it should be Kenny G. <laughs> it should be Kenny G. Right, we're going to have a short break, right? And then, uh, <laughs> ain't sticking nothing in my eyes like it. Oh, I would hope that I would get exclusive access, of course. <laughs> right, we're going to have a short break. Uh, if you're awake, you know, I don't take any gadgets. Do you know what? I would like to not have as much gadgetry as I have, to be honest, as in I'm stuck with an iPad all day, every day. That's where I do most of my work and things and research and stuff like that. Um, my phone's in my pocket a lot of the time, even though I turn off cell data, so I just have Wi-Fi, which is obviously transmission power is far lower. My office is like a Faraday cage and I'm stuck in here with a Wi-Fi router only like 10 foot away. Do you know what I mean? So it's not ideal. It's far from ideal, and I'm an electronic engineer, so I should know better. But hey ho. So, what we're going to do <clears throat> is someone needs to shower this guy. <laughs> so, we're going to be doing. Uh, oh, look, you see, Mellow Yellow Lizzie's taking a Kenny G bath after that. Like it. Yeah, do you know what? 
our bath doesn't work. Well, it does work. Our central heating doesn't work, so therefore the hot water doesn't work. So we can only have showers. And I really miss having a bath. Happy twos, girlfriend. Oh shit! So it's gonna. This is gonna turn back, isn't it? Right, quick. We got to rock now. We got to go for our five minute break, and then when we come back, it's gonna be one o'clock, is it? <laughs> when we. This is two o'clock now. But in the UK, don't forget. No, it's at two o'clock, silly Billy. Isn't it 2 o'clock it changes back to 1? I think it is. Ooh. So I think it's at 2... Oh no, sorry, it's already changed. What am I talking about? It's 2 o'clock, but it's not. It's 1 o'clock. Because that... I look up there because that's my analog. That's my analog clock. So it's not digital, so it doesn't know what the time is. It still thinks it's 1 a.m., which it is 1 a.m., but it's not. It's 2 a.m. Silly me. Right, come on. What are we doing? We're supposed to be doing We've got poop and pigeons to do and everything, yet. Yeah? So... Let's go and have a short break. I need to go and get a new cup of tea. And I want to go and get a Cadbury's cream egg to celebrate Easter, which officially is now Easter. So we're going to do that when we come back. We'll be toasting to Easter. We'll be toasting to our birthday girlies as well. And we've got memes. And we've got poop and pigeons. And we've got an after party. We've got so much coming up. We haven't even started yet. So don't go anywhere because I'm not. And in the meantime, I shall see you find people just where you are right now. But I'll be back in five minutes and go and get yourself a beverage and refreshment to whatever you're drinking. And uh, I'll see you in about four or five minutes. <sighs> Thank you for an absolutely wonderful, life-saving part one so far. Can't wait to see you in part two. Back in five.
<laughs> Didn't even change the date. <laughs> what a mad rush. Oh, dear. Literally slid in. Slid in lastminute.com. Uh, five seconds. I've just got to sort the... Uh, so it's actually the 31st of March now. <clears throat> Part two of the, uh, you know, Changing Times Anthology Podcast live show on a Saturday with live guests sometimes, but not tonight. <clears throat> We've had a long one tonight already, and it's been a lovely night. We've had great support from our uh, community out there. So thank you, everyone, for making sure I'm able to come back next week. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You've been so generous and uh, so much needed at the moment. Bit of, bit of a bad place. So thank you so very much for showing me hope, which is what it's all about. <clears throat> hope you enjoyed part one. We've got Hugo Bear here. Of course, he's still not in the budget for the new webcam for the desk cam to replace the one that Xavier's taken back. Um but Hugo's decided he wants to be in here with me, mainly because he knows that I've got cookies and my Easter egg. Sorry, my greeting egg. You're not allowed to call them Easter eggs anymore. My greeting egg. My Cadbury's cream egg. Let us know in America whether <clears throat> the Cadbury's cream eggs here in Ingola look the same as they do in Merca. So is the Ingola greeting egg the same as the Merca greeting egg. Let me know. Anyway, <clears throat> let's put that back in my pocket. Don't need that anymore. Let's have a look. So, a long one tonight, she said. All right, son. All right, son. How you doing, son? All right, you know what I mean? It tracks you all kinds of stuff. There's all sorts of conversations going there in the background. Like it. How about that ringy you put on your finger by Apple? Got to put a ring on it. Thank you so much, Della. Right, so what we're doing? Did I like that one? I didn't. Let's like, let's like it. Got seven likes on that, girlfriend. Don't forget, we've got a live poll rocking tonight as well that I've posted on the Discord server for Andology. For those that aren't familiar, it looks like this. So please do vote. It's pretty much 50 50 at the moment. So, what do you make of the boat versus bridge collapse? Do you think it's an accident or not? That's a live poll tonight. I'd be interested to get your feedback on that, what you think. We're going to steam through part two because we've got a general after party chat coming up, followed by VIP chats. We're going to do like half hour or something if anyone turns up in the general chat. If not, we'll just be going to the VIP members chat with the Patreon members. Talking of which, thank you to each and every one of you for making it what it is. And uh, please, uh, you know, so much respect for those that have shown patience and stuck with me and shown your loyalty and support over such a long period of time, uh, despite sometimes my lackings, which are vast right but i do the best i can for everyone um but and everybody does the best that they can back for me so i can't thank you anymore for that thank you really so very much and of course you know if the only way you can help is by hitting the like button please do that it's a good way to get things started so we've got um della's liking they look like there's the same in uh Murica. looks the same about the same size as it um Purples with Debbie. Uh, I want a cabin in the hills, I think, is what you're agreeing with. Thank you so much, Chrissy Poos, moderator of all moderators, keeping things live in the chat and healthy. So, right. So we've got a bunch of stuff coming up. We've got a couple of memes we're going to float through. Plus we've got... Um, well, I've got I've got a cabbage cream egg to get through. <laughs> We've got P Diddy getting pooped as well. He's pretty much set up ready to go. So what we do need though from you is the offence. So it's P Diddy who's definitely getting pooped, properly pooped by the pooping pigeons. He's going to find himself on the wall of shame by the end of tonight. Thank you for those who contributed to the bird seed for the pooping pigeons. So P Diddy is who's getting pooped, but we need to figure out what his offence is. So this is going to be fun. So let us know what P Diddy's offence is for his pooping today. I mean, I know it's vast and it's difficult to choose from. Pedo P Diddy, isn't it? Basically, at this point. Oh dear. So we've got memes. Can I tell you what we we'll do? Maybe we'll do some memes first. And then, actually, no, I'll tell you what we've got to do. We haven't done the quote yet. We like to do the quote when we come back part two. Oh, we've got to do a toast as well. Did I just take a sip of tea? Did I just take an illegal sip of tea without doing a toast? Quote first, courtesy of Debbie. Don't forget, if you'd like to contribute with a quote for next week, you can do that on the Discord server as well. It'd be lovely to see your favourite quotes. 
This is one coming in from Debbie Sermon, birthday girl, don't forget as well this week. Perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after another. Like it. Walter Elliott. <clears throat> Walter Elliott. Just because you lose one race doesn't mean you've lost the whole thing. It's a good thing to take away from that as well, right? So, the minute one's over, you're straight into the next one. P. Diddle's Little Ones is grizzly. Like it. Sorry, this is a bit out of context for the quote. But thank you so much, <laughs> Debbie, for the quote. Really appreciate it. And of course... If you'd like to share one of your favourite quotes, you can do so over again on the Discord server. Link is in the description below. And Chris is flying them out in the live super chat as well. Let us know if you have any problems signing up to the Discord server. It's completely free to join. So yeah, this is the one that uh, Debbie submitted uh, earlier in the week. <clears throat> so thanks for that, Debbie. I really appreciate that. And uh, of course, we had the couple from Sandy the week before. So make sure you get your favourite quotes in there. It's in the brain icon under quotes. And of course, memes, which we're going to do next. Um, you can also submit, which you'll be seeing later on. <clears throat> so, uh, what we're doing? We need to have a toast. So, raise your glasses, mugs, cups, chalices, goblets, quacks, flagons, flutes, kegs, troughs, cans, buckets, bottles, tank cards. What else? Buckets. Do we say buckets? Don't know. Jugs, flower vases, prosthetic legs, bowls, and shoes, and anything else you're drinking from. Raise it up. Let me propose a toast to our wonderful family here, to new friends and to everyone being absolutely cool. And happy Easter to everyone. Happy Transgender Visibility Day or whatever it is as well. Happy birthday to Purple Poos. Happy birthday to Debbie Poos. And other than that, love to you all. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yummy. I think Hugo Bear's expecting to get some biscuits out of this whole affair <clears throat> let's see you giving it the large one cheers my darling cynthia guaranata caroline rose mate great to see you my darling thank you cheers margie Mulder, my absolute beauty darling mellow yellow lizzie cheers you know i'm going to be picturing you in the bath later on with your kenny g i don't know what you're going to be drinking in the bath you right there hugo i was just <laughs> bless his cotton socks face <laughs> oh dear thank you so much Christina G what an absolutely lovely bunch <clears throat> he has risen yes amen sorry Bob yes he has cheers Robert what an absolute super duper dude cheers to Maya as well she's about uh, Sandy my darling Debbie birthday girl Kaza lovely to see you as usual <clears throat> and uh Happy last day of March, weirdos, isn't it? <laughs> flappy boy. He's been a super flappy boy, but he's already letting them off. It's like, you know, so we're dealing with quite a lot over here. And he's flapping about it. He thinks it's funny. It's not funny, Hugo. Yeah? It's not funny. I am literally breathing in fecal matter at this point. <laughs> and he's flapping about it. It's like, yeah, lovely. Thanks for that. <clears throat> right. What's next then? Because we got to, we got to chime through. That. Oh, we're going to do memes, and while we're doing memes, you've got to be coming up with what P did his offences. Did we get any decent ones? Uh, did he do little? <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Robert. Looks like it. Uh, what can you say? I don't know. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? <clears throat> Dead are in the house. Pigeon, pedo, pimp, perf, puff. Look at that. It's properly, it's a proper pooping for the pedo, pimp, perf, puff. P. Diddy, isn't it? Whew. Should get paid extra for saying shit like that, I tell you. <laughs> Tongue twisters like that. So I reckon we should be able to make something up from that, you know? Isn't it? <clears throat> um, what about just pedo, perf, pimp? Yeah. I think we'll just go with that, to be honest. Pedo perv pimp, right? It's bad news, isn't it? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, done. So we've got his offence. We're all good. I reckon we should do pooping pigeons right now, and then we'll finish up on the memes. How's that sound to you? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah.
Yes, indeed. You know how we do <clears throat> pooping pigeons, where we ask that all important question if you were a pigeon, who would you poop on? And we've asked that question tonight, and you have voted. It was Della, I believe, who was the first to come up with it, and rightfully so, right? So get ready for a ceremonial splattering for you know who doing you know what to you know who. Make sure everything's set up ready. Looks like it is, so I think we're all right. That's confirmed. We're all good to go. <laughs> so, thank you so very much, everyone, for contributing to the bird seed as we watch Peter, Paul, Peggy, and Poppy take flight to provide P. Diddy with a proper pooping. Let's do it and let's hear it for the pooping pigeons. Absolutely brilliantly done. Make it official. Stamp it. Bosh, properly pooped. Yes, indeed. P. Diddy gets his I Got Poop Pooping Pigeons pin badge, which he will wear for with pride today on the 31st of March. On Easter Day, he has been properly pooped by the pigeons. Of course, his handle has been redacted. We all know who it is. He knows who it is. You know who it is. We just can't say the name here of who his handler is. But his offence is being a pedo perf pimp. Yes, indeed. Pedo per pimp is what we're throwing at your ass, boy. So he's a member of the club and is always working against the best interests of humanity and an absolute anti-localist, as we know. So, yes, deservedly so. He gets it justifiably so. And, of course, pooping pigeons is a great way of us wishing people luck because it's always good luck to get pooped on by a pigeon. We know how it goes. That's all this is about. So, yeah, just acknowledging his greatness <clears throat> and wishing P. Diddy great luck with his pooping. And he will now find himself on the sh on the wall of shame amongst his friends and buddies and cohorts and fellow party goers. Probably, he's probably... He's probably got something on or done something with every single one of the people that's in this list already. So he is going to be well amongst his friends when he finds himself next week here. Right next to Lil Rishi Sunak. So yeah, he's in a good company here. Look, he's got his best friend Oprah Winfrey right up there as well. So that'll be good. He's got his best friend Harry, because don't forget Harry and William were both involved in the P. Diddy thing. So he is in a proper good page. It's a perfect time for him to get pooped, isn't it, basically? Because he's going to be on the right page with the right people. Especially Bob Iger, CEO of Disney. He's probably one of his handlers, to be honest. <laughs> Kanye West as well. Uh, they've had some beef in it. So, yeah, we've had it all going on with P. Diddy. Look into that. We'll see what happens with that during the week. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for your poop pooping pigeon support. Um, and it was proper in the eye, wasn't it, as well? Do you know what? When I was looking for a picture of P. Diddy to make sure I could get one, trying to find one of him without sunglasses on because I wanted to make sure I got poop right in the eye, um, was a bit of an effort, yeah? It's like he obviously wears sunglasses like 90% of the time, uh, even indoors, because we know how cool it is, how cool people are who wear sunglasses indoors, right? It's the coolest thing you can do, obviously. Yeah, never liked the man at all, not ever. Always been a bit of a creepazoid, to be honest. Um, proper creepazoid. Not a fan. Never liked the look of his face. Had a weird feeling about him and Jay-Z, and sure enough, Years and years and years later, it turns out, I was right all along to feel funny about that dude. <sighs> right, so uh, we're steaming through now, so I can close that window down with like a million tweets and X. We've zipped through that, which is good. I'm um, just making sure everything is live and healthy with the stream and making sure we still love YouTube. Yes, we still love YouTube. Yes, we do. Did you hear YouTube? I said, I love you. I love you. I love you nearly as much as I love Kenny G, YouTube. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know, the creepy ferret eyes thing's a thing I don't like about the look of P. Diddy is he's got that um, 
that baboon looking eyes really close together look right john kerry's got that same look who else there's a few people who've got that um fauci as well it's like a genetic thing i think where their eyes are really close together like neanderthal looking yeah let me know if you've noticed that but it's just it seems like the most corrupted people seems to be the people with their the eyes being the closest together I don't know. Maybe I'm onto something. I don't know. But it just seems to be a trend amongst people that are into that kind of shit, if you know what I mean. Let me know if you've noticed that, right? Is that what ferret eyes means, is it? Where they're close together and stuff, like baboon looking. Who's doing what again? Is that me? Did I do something? What did I do? <laughs> right, what are we doing? Memes. Let's do it. Memes. <laughs> So, ignore all this. I need to update this because that's not really how it rolls anymore. <clears throat> um, <laughs> you don't send them in. Just send them on Discord. It's much easier now. Uh, but yeah, feel free to submit your memes on Discord. It's completely free. Great place to be amongst friends and stuff there. So get in there. Get in amongst it. Don't mess about. Let's get into it then. There's not that many this week. So make sure there's loads for next week or else there'll be trouble. Them. I want to be more than friends. Me. You can be my my assistant. This is coming in from Purply Poos. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> Cynthia says, good thing my far apart. Well, do you know, I mean, that's considered to be attractive in women anyway, isn't it? Because that's like the feline look. In red eyes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we are. What was Della saying? Hiding devil eyes. I always liked Tupac, Biggie, couldn't stand Puffy. He never did anything. It's called inbred eyes. Amazing. Yeah, do you know, it's funny you say that because you're absolutely right with the people that you you call out, right? Um, I mean, Biggie's got some great tunes, man, a great songwriter. I mean, LL Cool J I was really into as well. Um, like, uh, 90s R&B was my thing back in the day. For those that don't know, I was a club DJ as well. I used to do um, an R&B night on a Thursday with, like, Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock, It Takes Two, and Naughty By Nature, shit like that, right? Good times. Right, so memes. Sorry. Moving swiftly on. Uh, another one in from Purple Purple. I'm not s saying spelling is important, but I'm saying spelling is important. Please use tongues to pick pastries, thanks. Are they even pastries? Looks like they've got um, a few of nuts on it. Oh, yes. Yes, good one. He's another one. Yeah, Harry. He's got those, like, close-together eye business things. I think Joe Biden's got it as well. More into Motown. Yeah, I like Motown as well. Most things on Def Jam Records as well. <laughs> I quite liked. Um, Beastie Boys, yeah. Yeah, Puffy just rode their coattails. He just didn't seem to do anything. I mean, you know, he came out with his every breath I take. If I even hear that fucking song, it makes me just rush to the fucking thing to turn it off. Anyway, never approach a bull from the front, a horse from behind, or an idiot from any direction. Amen, girlfriend. You didn't, you didn't become selfish. You became harder to manipulate. Don't confuse the two. Coming in from Purple Flurple again. Thank you, my darling. She's owning it for the memes. <clears throat> this one's in from Eagle Hunting. Great to see you. Build back. Are you off? Are you better off than four years ago? I'd say uh, absolute, totally, 100% not. I'm in more of a financial crisis now than I was in 2020 when I got wiped out by the financial, by the COVID thing because of, you know, China fucking me up. It wasn't China, it was just, you know, commerce Commerce went flat right in the middle of a project I was supposed to be in the middle of. <laughs> so that one didn't help. Uh, and that was when I came out doing the videos, obviously, for all the COVID, because I had nothing else to do, to be honest. <laughs> you know, and that was where I met all you fine people. So the bankers, this is coming from Chaos, uh, aka Crypto Sam, not seen him in the chat tonight. The bankers will make sure that we remain in debt. The pharmaceutical companies will make sure that we stay sick. The arms manufacturers will ensure that we continue to go to war. And the media will make sure that we are prevented from learning the truth. And the government will ensure that all this can happen legally. 
Amen. SWV, Della. SWV, Sisters with Voices. That was another one of my favourite groups. I had to adjust the wording on this slightly, but how it feels to be un you know what -ed. Here's the old blue roof in the middle look. Classic. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people in the chat right now can associate with that and identify with that. Another one in from Perps. Look, even the truck is shocked at the price of fuel. Fuck! Isn't it? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Is that sense in America, is it, or what? Before eclipse and after the eclipse. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? That's nasty. I mean, the top one's not nasty, but that's nasty. Who knows what's going on with the eclipse, right? Look at that, and we're already back to the beginning. That didn't take long. Yet. Did you see how pitiful the memes levels of quality, not quality, was fine. But the memes level of numbers were quite low this week. So let's sort that out for next week, shall we? Otherwise, I'll have to start putting memes in myself. And you know what happens when I have to start doing that, right? Uh, so this one, the TV told me that if I pay money to the government and accept totalitarian surveillance state, the weather will be gooder, gooderer, like it. Classic. So thank you for those that contributed on the memes there. This is where you go. It's completely free and open for you to go and have some fun in there. Enjoy other people's memes. And obviously, if you've come across some great ones during a week, just pop them in there. It just takes five seconds. Literally, copy, paste. Bosh. Job done. You ain't even got to say nothing. Ain't got to say nothing. Just got to go paste. Meme. Bosh. There you go. Do it. Right? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. So I think I'm going to dunk a biscuit quickly. Yeah. What am I forgetting? Anything? I think we're all right. I think we've been we're way over. I mean, how long have we been going? Two hours and twenty minutes. So I was trying to cut it down to an hour and to between an hour and an hour and a half the show. But so I'm going to eat my I'm going to eat my greeting eggs. We're not allowed to call it Easter egg anymore, apparently. Now Hugo's attention's on me. You can have this a bit of biscuit first. I'll tell you what, do you want to have this bit of biscuit now, Hugo? You can have this bit if you want. Do you want to come and say hello to everyone? I'm so sorry, baby. We haven't got a camera. Your brother your brother basically stole your, your Hugo can. What a mess. You didn't even get it. That's gone everywhere. You happy? Hmm? Are you happy? <laughs> Daddy get a kiss? Not anymore. No, that's it, mister. Just the one little bit. And I'll tell you what, I'll let you have a little bit half of that dunked in tea because he likes to have his tea dunking biscuits. His tail's going already because I'm dunking it. Bless his cotton socks. Come up, you come. Oh, here he is. Is that yummy? Did he get a kiss? Good boy. Oh, look at his velociraptor claws, his dinosaur hands. Right, go on in, on the chair. Get on Hugo's chair. He's a good boy. Ah, right, Hugo's fed. <laughs> Hugo's had his biscuit. He's happy, especially his tea dunked biscuit, which is like super bonus. No eggs this year. Got three chocolate bars last week. All went the day before yesterday. Oh, what? <clears throat> well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, well, happy birthday to Perps and to our darling Debbie. Tongue the egg. <laughs> I'm going to be eating it the way I eat it. I start like that. Sort of scratching the top of it, right? <laughs> Oh man, Hugo's locked on. And then we get down to the bit where we break through. We've got cream. <laughs> We've got cream. <laughs> mm. So yeah, like in my Cadbury's cream egg, Hugo. 
I don't even think. I'm not even sure we've been able to afford to get Xavier in Easter, egg, Easter eggs this year. I'm sure Magic Hand's got him something. I haven't been able to get him even. And imagine that. Imagine the embarrassment of being a father and you can't even afford to buy your son a, 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 an Easter egg. That's quite desperate times, isn't it? <sighs> I'm nearly through. Hmm. Debbie's eating a whole bag of jelly babies. I absolutely love jelly babies. Do you know what? I get like a bit of belly ache the next day if I have too many. I don't know what that's from. I'll tell you what I've got here as well from like a week ago now is Round Tree's Jelly Tots. Round Tree's Jelly Tots. But as I don't know, they look like little sugar coated sort of jellies, squishy jellies look. So. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> We're in. No one wants to be seeing me watching watching me eating a cabbage cream egg live. Mm. No, there's there's a box of five, I think it is, or whatever. Cadbury's cream egg. So he's definitely got a Cadbury's cream egg for tomorrow, but I just don't not like big expensive eggs, you know, like we normally have. Um mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, one kilogram bag of mini eggs. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nicely done. So <clears throat> I think we're I think we're all right. I think we've got three okay, haven't we? In one piece you go and everything. And so far, I haven't been maced or tased or anything, right? There's still time, obviously, right? There's still time. It could still happen. But we'll see. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to come on here. Uh, just make sure everybody's... Yeah, jelly tots. You've got to be liking that, right? Are they called gumdrops, are they? Yeah, but are they the gumdrops also? Because we've got gumdrops in the UK. Do they call them gumdrops? But I don't think they have the sugary coating on them as well. I think they're just, you know... What do you call it? Um, and a little bit harder than the jelly tots, maybe. Don't know. Nearly all chocolate has soy in them. It's funny, isn't it? Because sometimes they say, oh, chocolate's got this and that in it, and it's really good for you. <laughs> and then the other things, it's like, oh, it's really bad for you. Who knows? What am I going to jinx? I've got no idea. But either way... Uh, we can maze us. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Jinx it. What's your preference? Gumdrops are hard too. Yeah, ads have been healthy tonight. I mean, YouTube's been all right to me tonight, so that's good. Um, I'm happy about that. It's meant that we've had a good crowd in. I'll tell you what we haven't done, actually. That's why. That's why. I, I knew there was something. The live poll, of course. So we need to, we need to get the final result from the live poll. Um, so let's call that now. Uh, 48 votes, nearly 50 votes tonight, which is a great turnout. Um, and, you know, not surprisingly, just going to take a quick screenshot of that so we can document it on the Anthology Discord server. Um, so let's put the results in then. Uh, results from live poll. Bosh. And this is how it's ended up, look. 54% not an accident. 46% is an accident. That's how the vote's looking. So let's end the poll there. So thank you everybody who voted in tonight's poll. Um, <clears throat> yeah. The best polls are the ones where it's 50-50, right? Um, which is what I thought this one might be. And sure enough, we're pretty bang on. Because I'm pretty 50-50. There's enough evidence to say that it's like, yeah, it could be an accident, but there's also a lot of shady shit, and it seems like perfect timing and a perfect Black Swan event, which I was talking about for the last few months, saying that they're talking about Black Swan events all of a sudden is circulating, and here we go. We've got shit like this going down. And I think the... I think the cascade of failure that will follow this bridge collapse is going to be more than just meets the eye initially. Um... I've been trying to look into that and it's difficult to be able to determine, but it does look like it's more significant than just a bridge coming down. Not that a bridge coming down isn't significant by any means, I'm just saying. It's just like any form of infrastructure destruction like that is extremely complex and difficult and, um, you know, you don't rebuild a bridge overnight, put it that way, right? And there isn't really an intermediary solution, uh, solution 
when a bridge collapses, right? You can't throw up a temporary bridge, do you know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. So it is a serious problem. And the implication of, you know, certain items, let's say, getting to and from certain places is going to cause a cascade of failure down the line. So we have to watch out for that. We'll see what comes of it. But thank you to everybody who voted live in the chat for that tonight. It was good to get your feedback on it and see what you think about it. Jenny Simon's in the house. Good to see you, my darling. It's, uh, it's a real awesome show tonight. Oh, thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much for your generosity, Robert. And Danger Bob and Purple Pools and Della, my darling as well, who kicked it off with the pink one, Della. We do like the pink ones. And obviously Robert with his super duper red one as well. It's been lovely. And uh, we've had, you know, Robert McNamara um, and Purple Purple. Lots of people supporting the show tonight. So thank you so very much. Happy Easter to each and every one of you. Um, sorry to hear you're suffering a bit of mold toxicity, my darling. Um, so yeah, sorry you're having to deal with that. I hope things get a bit better. Carolyn Rose saying, talking about a dehumidifier. <clears throat> yeah, you know, coincidence with that film, Leave World Behind and Ship, for those that aren't familiar. Um, yeah, thank you so very much. Right, so we're going to get into the after party. I don't know really if there's many people who aren't VIPs who would be up for coming over, but whatever. We're going to jump into the general chat um, for a bit, and then we'll go into the VIP chat so we can spread the love a bit. Um, so that's what we plan to do. So if you want to join us and you're not a VIP patron, it's a great opportunity for you to do that, um, which I'll start doing every now and again. Not all the time, but just on occasion. Uh, we'll go into the open general chat, which is the rainbow one, um, for complete inclusivity. Uh, so we'll be jumping into the general chat for an after party. So if you're not a VIP, page, VIP patron, you'd like the opportunity to come and have a chat about whatever you want, then please do feel free to come and do so. The more the merrier in that situation. So thank you so very much, everyone who supported the show tonight. I really appreciate everybody's niceness and kindness for Easter time. And uh, happy birthday to Debbie and to Purple Purple, don't forget, uh, earlier in the week. Um, thank you so very much. You're such a great bunch. Yeah. There's me always thinking every show is going to be shit. <laughs> I say it to Sandy, to Chrissy, to Purple. No matter who I'm talking to, like leading up to shows, it's like, oh, no one's going to be there. It's going to be shit. Everyone's going to hate it. They're going to think it's boring. They'll go away. <laughs> I have a dehumidifier, says Jenny. Thank you so much for being here. Bleach is the ticket to handle mold. Got all sorts of stuff flying around in there. So thank you, everyone, for being such a great bunch in the live chat. Thank you for voting for the, um, for the poll tonight as well. It was interesting to see people's views on that and what they think about what's going on in the world. But in the meantime, we're going to be cracking over to the Discord server, so please come join us over there if you'd like to. It's completely free of charge. Yeah. No macing or tasing going on in there. General chat, jump in there. I'll be there in about five minutes, and we'll catch up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have a little we'll have a little blend. So looking forward to that. In the meantime, thank you, everyone, for helping to make sure I can come back next week, which is looking like I'm going to be able to. So thank you so very much. Really appreciate the support. Um, oh, yes, Carolyn. Uh, you see, this is what I was going to talk about that last week um, when it was going through. There's stuff going on in Canada to do with that as well. It's all happening. So we've got so much more to talk about. But thank you so very much. Lovely to see you again, Della. Thank you so much for coming and say hello. Really appreciate your patronage and your wonderfulness. Connie in the house. She's still sneaking away in the background there. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Connie. Uh, come and talk to us after the party. Yeah? Come and join us. So, yes, indeed, Cynthia, again, lovely to see you with us tonight. Thank you for your support, everyone. I really appreciate your greatness and wonderfulness and kindness. And in the meantime, I shall see you on the other side. And, of course, I shall... S oh, and I've got some stuff on the other channel coming up this week as well as my anniversary for the Prepping Channel. So I'm pretty much done with that other project. I've got to get out of the way. Um, so as of from Monday, I should be full on with that. So I'm looking forward to getting back into that with everyone. So... Lots more coming from me. In the meantime, see you in the after party. Love to you all. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.